everybody. How are you guys doing? Hey! Hey! What's up? Bro, I'm trying to find this very specific hold music. I don't know if you guys have heard it before. I was on hold for a while today with fucking CVS. The pharmacy. Critical vagina system. And ah, fuck, I can't really remember how it goes. It was it was a banger though. It wasn't the piano one. It's like it has like a nice beat. It wasn't this one. Did it have violins in it? No, but it had like a like some vocal chops in it that were like. Freestyle over this beat? I I need to practice more. I'm I'm not good at that. I I was trying to write some lyrics over the weekend too for that rap song that me me and they want to do. And you ever do you guys ever like write stuff when you're half asleep? Like you come up with an idea that sounds really good when you're half asleep. And then you look at it the next day and you're like, what the fuck was I on? That's how I feel whenever I write lyrics. Even when I'm completely awake. I, I can't. It's so bad. I wrote I wrote so many verses. Bro, I had like shower thoughts. I was like thinking about them in the shower, like, oh my god, this is so fire. This is such a good line. And then I write it down and I'm like, this is horrible. Am I high? Give us one. Um. Here. Here, let me try to find the lyrics file. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, wait, the beat. I have to rewind the beat. Hold on. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 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 I don't need astronomy to know you a bitch So much ice on my wrist might start freezing up like Mitch Damn, you bitches can't even compare You browsing on Ikea for your man's new cock chair Give up Nancy Reagan a run for her money When only time I spit is on a beat Fuck, I messed up the timing I- uh, Wait, what is- I have to find this fucking CVS gold music it was so good! See this far as the old music? It's... I don't think it's this one. It's not this. It's not this crusty ass piano shit. When you're on hold with customer service and you drop this banger... This one? No, not this one. It's not this one. Fuck! What is it? It was like a really sick beat. I didn't even mind being put on hold to it. 30 minutes of CVS hold music to lull you into a living nightmare you cannot wake from. I don't think it's this. God, this is awful. No. No. This one's good though. Oh, this is the high quality version of this song. Okay, so good news and bad news. Do you want the good news first or the bad news? It's more it's more bad news for me than for you guys. Okay, bad news. I still don't have my ADHD medication. Because there is a very, very bad uh, medication shortage going on. I, I've been without my medication for several days now. And it sucks so fucking bad. And I was like, oh, I'll call on Monday. Like, once the, the weekend's over. But Monday was fucking Labor Day. And then today, I called. I was on hold for a fucking eternity. I had to actually call again because I got put on hold for a while, but they just fucking forgot about me and hung up. So I had to start over and talk to the fucking robot voice because you have to talk to the robot voice first so they even get to a human and go through all the fucking stupid menus. It's, it's really funny to interrupt the, the robot voice 
when it's like asking a question by just going no and then it just like stops mid-sentence and it's just like okay <laughs> i love it bro i love bullying the stupid fucking ai voice shit <laughs> would you like to download our new cvs app no okay <laughs> like every fucking time <laughs> it was so funny it was funny but at the same time i was crying inter internally but okay the good news is i did eventually manage to get my medication i don't have it with me they said it would be ready later this afternoon so i'll probably have it tomorrow so i'll be back on track to functioning like a normal human being bro it sucks so bad when you find out like holy shit this medication actually makes me like normal and like i feel good and i can actually like do things i feel competent i don't feel like fucking joe biden i don't feel like i'm just like just stroking out all the time and then you go off of it because there's a shortage you don't know when you're gonna be able to get your next dosage and you just feel like just even worse than you felt before you know it sucks so bad i was seriously considering just like going to new mexico and trying to find like a meth dealer i'm 100 serious that would have been that would have been easier than all the fucking hoops you have to jump through i need i need to find walter yeah and then you stress out if your next refill is gonna be on time Oh my god, how do people do this shit? I haven't really been like, I haven't really taken medication like this before. That is like this difficult to come by. I've never been on like brain medication till like this year. And the only other medication I've taken was just for my, my throwing up thing. I was on like fucking chemotherapy nausea medication. That was like the, the extent of my, my medication journey till now. How the fuck do people deal with this? It's so annoying. I hate it. And America just sucks when it comes to healthcare. They need to get their shit together. I want to run for president, I think. Once I get my ADHD medication, I'm running for president and it's fucking over for all you bitches. America is the worst. I, I like America, though. Uh, it has so many pitfalls, but I do like America. I have to say that legally so I can run for president. Am I old enough to be a president yet? Would you guys vote for me? Be honest. 35? I got... Oh my god. Bro, I could go to college? And then when I'm done with college, I'll have like a, an actual college degree. And then I could be even better as a president. Just wait for me, okay? Oh man, I need five more years. That's that's actually good though. Cause won't I? I'll be able to run. Like that stinks up pretty pretty nice, right? For like the next presidential term, I'll be able to run next term. Study arts? Yeah, I'll go to a liberal arts college. Do you want to be threatened by all types of cycles all the time, Yan? Well, I'm used to that. That's been uh, the last like 10 years of my life pretty much. <laughs> but president presidency doesn't seem too bad. At least if I'm a fucking president, I'll have like a secret service surrounding me everywhere. And I could execute people who fuck with me. I'd be such a good president. I'd be kind of like a dictator, I'm not gonna lie. I would make sure that there's a three day work week, mandatory five day vacation, every week for everybody or they are executed <laughs> hot tip for everyone i would make school uh you go to school at like 2 p.m and you get out at like 6 p.m and there's no homework how does that sound no homework yeah i'm adding an eighth day to the week so that we can finally like alternate days like uh remember that bodybuilder forum thing where they got in that argument about like <laughs> i want to work out every other day how do i split up the week and then they just argued for like 100 fucking pages of this forum <laughs> about 
how many days there are in a week? <laughs> Have you ever been a manager? No, I've never been in like a managerial position. I've always been an underling. At every job, I've been an underling. What would you call the eighth day? Oh man, didn't we like come up with some names during like the God of War stream? We we're playing God of War and we we're thinking like if we made an eighth day, it'd have to be named after another like Greek god, right? Because it's all like, Here is you know, Thursday, but Thursday. Me on his back. I put America on mine. Boomsday. Here's your campaign slogan. Aethel puts me on his back. I put America on mine. <laughs> and Aethel, Aethel can still lift both of that, I think. Thank you, BC. Bro, he actually like... He did push-ups with me laying on his back. I didn't even know that was physically possible for anyone, especially with my weight. I'm fat as fuck. He just lift me up like like I weighed like a, a thousand fe feathers. F -f feathers. Sorry, I gotta eat my food. <laughs> I I weigh like I weighed myself recently. I'm like a hundred and thirty-eight. I think I gained weight. But that's good, right? It's good. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I'm getting massive. Yeah, is it my brain getting bigger? You're tall, so it's fine. Yeah, I guess so. It's, it's evenly distributed. I can text you. Yeah, I'm my, I'm my own architect. <laughs> Big guy's bulking? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I'm just trying to put on some blubber for the winter. So I can stay nice and cold. I'm going into hibernation mode. If you were president, would you let that $5 footlong creep out early so they can beat him up? <laughs> you mean serious? <laughs> yes, I would actually... Set him free on an island so Abel can just like chase him around dressed up like the guy from Jumanji, like the full fucking hunter garb with like a old fashioned shotgun. Just play like the most dangerous game. Actually, no shotgun, just fists only. I think that would be enough to, to torture him to the ends of infinity and beyond. Hi, new follower found her through TikTok? And now I'm following her here. Holy shit! Um, welcome in! We're, we're gonna have a very normal one today. We're gonna play some putt-putt. Here, let me change this whole music because I think it's triggering people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um... Do you want some... I think smooth jazz is pretty nice, but I want something a little more upbeat. Like maybe some more Gran Turismo music. Gran Turismo music is pretty nice. Relaxing. Here we go. This is pretty nice. Pretty chill. Dun, 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 dun. Honestly, I don't mind that hold music. Yes. Yes. Thank you, J Dub, for gifting that sub. J Dub sub. Did you see the last life, life of Luxury video? Wait, do they have another like dark web thing? God, I'm so glad I'm gonna get my my meds soon. <laughs> Holy fuck. Bro, we have to watch this! She gave birth to it during the night? Wait, I thought they were done uploading or something. I thought they got like screwed over by their channel network. Do not fall asleep at PD's Playhouse. This is actually this is actually good. Cause you know what? I gotta eat my food still. I got a special food delivery right before stream. I got a sandwich and a little coffee. I probably don't need the coffee. I, I chugged so much fucking gamer subs to help wake myself up. Cat food! Wait, also one more question. Do you guys want me to th be 3D or 2D? 2D. Which do you prefer? I'm gonna be playing some scary ass games, so maybe 3D again could show more funny reactions. But TD is also cute. 3D, 3D, 3D. 
3D for scares? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll put on my 3D softwares. Dun, 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 dun. God, Gran Turismo music is just so nice. Go. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me make sure I'm turning on the right model. Bro, sometimes I feel like force and I feel like I'm just like mumbling things into the ether. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes I just feel like I'm just saying things. Okay. Hold on, just a minute. Just a minute, my 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 little uh fucking uh nyakolites. <laughs> my little nyanyas. What can I call you then? Bob? I tried to catch you, but the train hit me just as planned. <laughs> call me Earl? Like, my name is Earl? Oh my god. I played... The funnest survival game last night, and I had like dreams of it. I think I think Aethel might play it on this channel at some point. I don't know, but it was called Sunken Land. Have you guys heard of it? It's like it just came out like a week ago, I think. And it's pretty it's pretty early access y kind of, but it was so fucking cool. It's like an underwater world, and you like sail to all these different islands. It's not like procedurally generated or anything. I was honestly kind of worried, like, oh man, if it's like a set map, is it gonna be any fun, like, to discover stuff and explore? And oh my god, it is. Can't stop thinking about that fucking game. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're like stranded on an island, like castaway. You have to gather resources, and there's like pirates that will come and plunder you. There's mutants. It's cool. I've been wanting to play like a lot of chill survival games lately. Just to relax and unwind. Do you guys know, like, any other ones that are really good, that are, like, new? I know there was the, the small land one where you're, like, tiny people in a bug land. Just tiny people living in a bug world. Yeah, it's like the, the forest. Yeah, yeah. Did you get into Polia? I've heard of that. It looks really cute. But it might be a little too cute for me. My favorite survival games are kind of, like... Like Valheim, Valheim is so nice. A little more realistic with like cool bosses you can fight and stuff like that. The Long Dark? Wait, I think I've heard of that one. That one's single player though, right? I actually saw that when I was researching scary games to play. And oh my god, boy howdy. I found the scariest game to play today. It's called Seven Nights Ghost, or is it Seven Days Ghost? I think it might be Seven Nights. <laughs> it looks very bizarre, <laughs> I will say. I have I have three games. Some of them are games we didn't get to last time we did our scary gaming time. And I want to finish them. There's the Liminal Space one, there's the Seven Nights Ghost, and then there's another Chilla's Art game that I still have to play. I think it's the, the karaoke one. Is that one good? Do you guys remember that one? It came out like a few months ago, I think. The Long Dark is pretty scary. Yeah, aren't you like stranded in like... Like in Siberia or something? Or am I thinking of a different one? You're like outside in like a really cold snowy place. And there's monsters. That one is skippable. Skippable? It's not the best. Aw, oh, shit! Northern Canada? And yeah, Northern Canada might as well be Siberia. A new observation came out today, too. Observation Duty? I've never played that one. Is that any good? I think I've seen some streamers play it. Green Hell is good. Too bad we don't have her tonight today, so we can Schmidt? warn you. Bevel tries to scare you. 
<laughs> oh my god, you, you do not want to have RTX Nagan today. I am schlubby. I, I'll be honest, I have something to confess. I was putting together a care package for Vey to get her back because she, she made one for me a few months ago and I was like, God damn you, you bitch. You stupid bitch. I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna care package you to infinity. And I, I got like a certain sweatshirt for it. I, it came in the mail today. And it was just too cool and looked so like soft and comfortable that I, I honestly kind of, I stole it for myself and I'm going to order another one to give it to her. Don't, don't let her know. It's like, it's a, bro, it's so fucking cool. I just got it off Amazon. It's a shirt, a sweatshirt that says Shadow Money Wizard Gang on it. It has a really cool graphic on it. I wish I could show you. It's so fucking cool. It's really soft on the inside too. Says the person who was mad about the hoodie thief 20 years ago. I think I've earned my, my hoodie thieving time. It's karma. What goes what goes around comes around in hoodie form. Yeah, I love I love casting spells. Bro, I just I opened up the package and it was over. I was like, oh my god, I wanna wear this today. <laughs> now we can be twinsies. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I had in mind actually. I, I didn't steal it. I intended to get two and give one of them to her. I'm not a selfish bitch at all. I promise. Get Aethel one? I think me and Aethel are gonna share custody of this one. I got it in like a, a large size so we can both wear it. We do that with like all of our hoodies pretty much. All of our hoodies are just both of ours now. It's nice. I never run out of hoodies to wear. Yeah, I'm just- yeah, I'm testing the quality. I'm making sure that the graphic holds up through, like, a few washes. Maybe it tests, like, the gamer sweat, opacity, and the, the splines, how well they reticulate, all that kind of stuff. Just to make sure that the, the product is good, because Vey deserves only the best products in her care package. Bro, I got a stuffed animal that's like a cat, and it has huge balls. I got her, uh... Wait. You guys won't- you guys won't tell her anything, right? You- you won't tell her anything I got. I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm- I'm just so excited about it. I got her, uh... <laughs> I got her, like, a little Shrek figure <laughs> that, like, reads an audiobook of Shrek. And... <laughs> I got her a fucking, uh... I got her a thing for her bird that like you can record anything on it and just hang it in their cage and it'll play it back over and over so the bird will learn it and repeat it <laughs> show balls please no 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 the the stuffed animal with the balls is a it's a surprise yeah it's it's cool fucking rip steve harwell by the way oh my god i heard about that that was honestly so sad like, it, it, he's one of the people that you just can never imagine just not being around anymore, you know? It was a huge bummer, yeah. He died from, like, liver problems, right? From alcoholism. That shit is so heavy. I've actually, like, had family, a family friend that passed away from the same thing, and it's so sad, just like... Oh man, they just like lose control and they, even though they're dying, they just can't help it. I'm sorry, that got depressing real fucking fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> bro, and didn't Jimmy Buffett pass away too? What's going on? It's sad as Did fuck. Did someone say beep 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 Damn, that's sad to hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, rip, rip and balls. Thank you, Selnia. Okay, on a less depressing note, speaking of family and speaking of uh, cages, I told you guys about what happened to... Uh... Yeah, there was a tornado at my mom's house. My mom is currently taking care of my, my kitties because, as you guys all know, Evil is, like, deathly allergic to cats. He cannot be around them. He, like, he, it makes it really hard for him to breathe, even. So, my mom is taking care of my cats, and she sends me, like, updates all the time. I sent this, like, really cool 
Aw, cat patio. Cause I'm like, I'm the I'm still my cat's sugar mommy. I, I still gotta I still gotta spoil them. And I thought it'd be cute to have them like get them like a nice little thing that they can be outside in and be safe. Cause they, they do like to go out on the deck and like watch birds and stuff, but I wanted them to be nice and safe and comfortable while doing so. So I found this really cool cat patio on Amazon. And oh my god, it's so cute. My mom set it up, but unfortunately there was a fucking tornado at her house like a week ago. And it like knocked it off the deck. And I was so worried that it would be just like busted and they wouldn't be able to have fun in their little catio anymore. But good news, the catio is safe and secure. Catio secured and the cats have returned to the catio life. And they're doing very well. Here, I'll send you a picture. I'll show you a picture. Let me make sure there's nothing showing on this. It looks so cool. It's like a like a big old like fort that's like set up on the, the deck. God damn, this music is nice. Guys, how do you okay I figured it out. I, I was almost about to do the ultimate grandma thing and ask you guys how to save a picture from iPhone message. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to iPhone still. I've had this phone for like a year now, but I'm I'm used to the Android life. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm uploading, I'm uploading, I'm uploading it, I'm uploading, I'm uploading, a ba bing, bada bing, bada boom, baba booey. Okay. There's nothing taxable in this, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I got the picture. <laughs> Why did you downgrade the iOS? Honestly, I don't know. I just wanted to try it out. I don't I don't mind it. It is kind of annoying sometimes. Like uh for some reason, you can't play webums on iPhone. I don't know why. And some apps are just kind of weird on it. iPhone Pros are nice. Yeah, I think I have an iPhone Pro something or other. It is pretty nice. Yeah, and uh, it has way better tr face tracking and stuff. Yeah, the web thing is super fucking annoying. Yeah, I just wanted to experience a little change, you know? Just felt like a little refresh. Honestly... I do kind of prefer it to Android, I'm not gonna lie. The battery life just seems better. But maybe I'm just getting iPhone pilled. Maybe Steve Jobs brainwashed me from beyond the grave. Okay, picture, picture, picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm finding the window capture. This right here is my swag. Here's the, the cat patio. And you can see, you can't see it. This is Knightley up on top. He really likes this little box up here. Kieran is a little tucked <laughs> below here. I think there's like a bed down here. And then this is my mom's cat actually. His name is Harry. And they actually get along really well. They're like uh, the three musketeers. I think it's, it's so sweet. My mom honestly, not to get depressing again, but my mom was pretty depressed after my dad passed away. And she loves animals a lot. She's like a... She's kind of a cat lady herself, so... Her, her life is definitely more, like, uh, <laughs> upbeat with all these all these kitties around. And yeah, I always, I always send stuff to help spoil them and stuff, and it's pretty nice. She always sends me pictures, like, pretty much every day whatever they get up to depressing into horror content as a true combo yeah yeah i'm just priming the pump yeah the heart pump yeah they're super cute choo choo yeah night nightly is a big stinker as always i do miss them a lot but oh my god i'm gross and i like apple products even though they're incompatible with any other products <laughs> I'm sorry! I don't know, I just like the... Bro, the iPhone camera is just like... There's nothing like it, it's so good! Filming stuff on it is so fun! 
Thank you, Hattern. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, what are the cat's names? This cat up top, his name is Knightley. The one on the bottom is Kieran. And then this is my my mommy's cat, Harry. He is a lot younger than them. She got him like really, really recently. Yes. But yeah, I do miss them a lot, but my mom is definitely taking best possible care of them. And she sends me updates all the time. And also, honestly, like, it warms my heart to know that they're making her so happy when she's... Like, she, bro, she, like, she lives alone. She is... She misses, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, taking care of, like, a, a baby, so to speak. So, it's, it's good. It's good for her. It, it makes her really happy, and I can tell. She, she just loves animals a lot, and they, they brighten up her life. So, like, because things were pretty, pretty dreary after my dad passed away. So, it's nice to see her get to, like, take care of some animals and, you know, <laughs> as much as I miss them, I it, it makes me happy to know that they're in, in good future, hands. I've missed hearing about those cuties. <laughs> Thank you, Atomic Gods. Yeah, I'll try to show some pictures as much as I can. And she pretty much sends me stuff, like, almost every day about them and gives me updates. So, yeah. Also, it's it's really funny, like, I don't know, seeing them get along with her cat. I was kind of worried at first that they wouldn't get along, but... I think your heart rate is higher looking at cat pics than when your soul is being frightened out of your body. <laughs> really? Wait, did it go up? <laughs> It may have gone up to a whopping 65. New record. <laughs> it was like 80. Aw. Well, I can't help it when I see cute stuff. My heart just wants to pound. My heart just wants to go to pound town. Sorry, I was opening up my coffee drink. It's like a, a canned... I just love canned coffee. It's one of my biggest guilty pleasures. I'm just a, a, such a stupid bitch. I gotta have my canned coffee. <laughs> what brand? It's Rise Brewing Company. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it. It's, it's a little underground. It's a little indie. Non-GMO vegan oat milk mocha. Nitro cold brew coffee. There's so many fucking buzzwords on this can. It's so lame. I feel so embarrassed drinking this. Nitro cold brew coffee, dairy free, USDA organic. Such a fucking scam. It's so like, it's so overpriced, but I can't stop buying it because it tastes so good. And it's from the Netherlands too. It's got 70 milligrams of natural caffeine. That's pretty nice. About one cup of coffee. I have no idea what nitrogen infusion is for. Like, what is the point? What is it- what is it supposed to do? Yeah, that's very, very hipster. Yeah, it's from the Netherlands, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, it adds nitrogen? Like, what, is, what does the nitrogen add to the coffee? Is it just like a texture thing? Or does it do like... Does it nitro boost the caffeine to make it more powerful? Smaller bubbles? Carbonation? Creamier. Yeah, it did have like a nice little when I opened it up. That's that nitro. So do you guys want to do what we did before and just like pre-game with some spooky videos? You could watch the new Life of Luxury video. Because I, I gotta eat my, my lunch. I gotta eat my lunch. I had a munch on my lunch. I gotta make a big lunch. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to do my... <laughs> I forgot to read my fucking lyrics that I worked on. Oh, I had a I had a busy ass weekend. I'm sorry I didn't stream on Saturday. I actually had to work on a, a video. I was working on the music video for the Waters Call. It's finally coming out this Friday, by the way. I'm so fucking excited. It's been a long time coming. Holy fuck. Eagles worked so hard on that song. He's been like slaving away, like perfecting the instrumental and the mixing and everything. And I'm so excited for it to finally be released and I can finally listen to it on Spotify on repeat. And Die With Me will come out soon after. Yeah, the, the art for Water's Call was finished too, which prompted us to be like, yo, bro, let's just put it out. And 
we needed a music video for it. So I was just like, oh, I could probably slap something together, poop something out in Sony Vegas. And he graciously allowed me to take the video editing into my grubby little hands. And I'm not really, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to video editing. But I, I hope you guys will enjoy it. I know he liked it, at least, which made me happy. But I, I just want to do this song justice. Because it's legit been, like, uh, under work for, like, two years. Two years, actually. Two actual years. Independent woman arc? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm finally learning how to operate video editing software. Is Nyaner's high? No. I'm, uh... I'm completely sober. I've just had gamer subs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. Go home, Nyaner. You're drunk. She high? I'm just a little neurodivergent. Especially so today because I am off my ADHD medication. But... Anyway. Yeah. The Waters Call is coming out on Friday. I'm really excited for it. I, I made the video for it. I'm I'm really worried. I hope the video is good. I hope people like it. I know people who love the song because yeah, he he went hard on it. And I'm excited for Die With Me to come out too, finally. I think Die With Me is my absolute favorite. It's so good. I, I honestly want to make more music. I, I'm working on that rap song that he made the beat for like a week ago and my lyrics are there is something like i said i like i'll like write down a bunch of stuff and be like okay this sounds kind of cool this, this might sound kind of nice then i open up the lyric file a day later with a clear mind and i'm just like it's like reading like cave drawings it's like reading like schizo doodles on the floor of like an abandoned building it, it makes no fucking sense like i read it and like how did i think that this sounded good this doesn't even flow well I also don't really know how to make like choruses or hooks or anything. I might need help with that. Wait, maybe you guys could help me too. Cause you you guys have some some pretty good zingers. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I look over at chat and I'm like, damn. I, I'll give you guys a, a writing credit. I could I just credit everyone. Uh... Yeah, my, my heart rate is going up just thinking about... Bro, my hands are getting sweaty just thinking about people seeing my lyrics that I wrote. Backseat allowed, but she's not playing. Smile more. Why are you not smiling for me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, that... That makes just as much sense as what I wrote down in this fucking notepad for these lyrics. Most sane. You're more sane than me. <laughs> Ow! I hit my foot on my desk. Okay. I I'll smile more. I'm smiling more. I'm smiling. Uh. You still look for legs? It's okay. Yeah, smile more for me. Yo, yeah. smile more for me. Yo, yeah. yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. Wait here. Let me get the beat. This one right here. Can you guys hear this okay? This beat is so good. I asked him to make like a city girls type beat, like some kind of like female empowerment rap kind of stuff. And I did a ton of research. I listened to so much city girls, so much like girl rappers. And a lot of them, like a common theme with them is they always like rap about uh, other girls dissing them. They rap about getting handbags and they rap about their pussies so i i try to combine those themes in a good way but i don't know if i i don't know if i was successful yeah and twerking going going to the club yeah just like dudes pretty much yeah because like guy rappers they rap about getting money uh and their peepees and stuff getting money with their peepees uh, 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 uh. Bro, I feel like there could be like a catchy as fuck chorus on this, but I can't. I can't come up with one. Make a guy rap song? Uh, 
Yo. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> It'll come to you in a dream? Yeah, and I'll write it down and I'll wake up and I'll just like look at my notes app on my phone and it's just complete gibberish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's try out some freestyling. Uh. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wait, wait, I gotta find the beat. Wait. It, yeah. Uh. Beat. Yeah, yes. Uh. You ain't shit. You're just a pee pee. I turn on the channel on the TV and I change it and. Fuck! God damn it. Ah. I was. Bro, you know when you're like riding a bike for the first time and you start paddling and you're like, I can do it. I'm actually riding a bike. I'm, I'm bouncing on the bike. And then like two seconds later, you just fucking eat shit. That's me whenever I try to freestyle. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. These weak ass bitches better stop their capping. Meet me in the ring. You know I ain't tapping. Oh. I like... Tapping. <laughs> Yeah. I'm clapping my hooves in the farm. Meet me in the barn. I'll do you harm. I'm brushing my mane. You know I love brushing my mane. I eat hay all the same. Life to me is just a game. <laughs> no barn ramps? Wait, why? I want to be a horse. Ponies rise up. Get your feedback. Get your feedback, girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Bro. Yeah. My bestie turned to me and said, Do I look good? I say, damn, girl, you're tripping. You're chopping the wood. Fuck. I, can't, I don't think I'm capable of freestyling unless I'm like... Hi. <laughs> Bro, I get like, I get like nervous and embarrassed like one sentence in. Uh, I, I wrote down a bunch of shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. No, I'm not gonna take an edible. I, I can't. Slower tempo helps. It is pretty fast, yeah. But it's banging. Okay. Yo. Yo, I've been around before anything was happening. The big bang, yeah? That was just my ass clapping. Damn, I think these bitches need to pipe down. Ratty ass bitch and their pussy on blight town. Better look both ways, cause you forward the streets. Body count looking like CVS receipts. For it's gonna need more trees for all the green in these bands. Be your ass bitches, go make yourself some dams. Gather up your berries, saddle like Katam. Bitch, get out my habitat, you'll catch these fucking hands. Yeah, I'm talking real world, we ain't playing Minecraft. We ain't playing Minecraft. Say it to my face, get your ass off Twitter. You ain't just a bottom bitch, you a bottom feeder. Sneak this and snake hiss and you bitches ain't my sisters. Suck on the stick, bitch, I am your leader. <clears throat> I ran out of breath. Ugh. I ran out of breath. Ugh. The tribe is spoken. Get off the island. You ain't surviving, there's the ocean, bitch. Dive in. And we're still making waves. Stacks on deck, yeah, we still getting paid. Ass thick hair did Gucci Louis Prada. He beat it up like it's a pinata. When I open up my legs, it's like a magic trick. Tada. Got the Lion King pussy. Hakuna Matata. miles per hour reading my own shitty lyrics on stream 145 <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die <laughs> Holy shit 
shit, Nerevar. That Blight Town line goes insanely hard. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Bro, I got sweaty as fuck. I gotta take off my, my sweatshirt that I stole. Legally. Legally acquired. <laughs> that Blight Town line goes insanely hard. Thank you. I thought of that in the shower. <laughs> And it, it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I had too much Kofi. Okay, but yeah, I gotta work on it way more. It's gonna take me like a week to come up with something uh, finalized. And yeah, I need, I need help. I need, I need psychological help. I need like personal help. And I need help writing these fucking lyrics. I'm not used to writing lyrics. I used to write them all the time, like, back in, like, high school, I had, like, a notepad full of shit, just, like, the most embarrassing shit you could possibly think of, and I burned it all, because I was embarrassed by it. I gotta get over my fear. I got over my fear of singing in front of you guys. Now I gotta get over my fear of just, like, writing things from the heart. I have a bunch of, like, lyrics I've been working on, like, serious lyrics, in my notepad on my iPhone. One time I left it open accidentally when I turned on my phone and I just like panicked and fucking just threw my phone across the room. Just like, no, don't look, don't look. I hate it. But yeah. <laughs> I need to chill out and listen to the calming Gran Turismo music. Lion King pussy. Bro, cause it's like uh, they'll showed us the It's not a pussy, it's a big cat. It's cool how he put you on the like, cover. Ow! You <laughs> Wait, it's hey, cool now, he put you on the on cover? Yourself, Wait, what do you mean? As bad as the cat's movie. <laughs> I I wouldn't be on that cover. I hate water, remember? <laughs> the artist did an amazing job on it though. It's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, BG, thank you, Noel Hammer. Your writing could never be as bad as the Cats movie. I'm not gonna lie, I might... I might one-up the Cats movie. Your ears are so cute and wiggly. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink some water, I'll drink some water. Did you send the song to the artist too? Yeah! I sent both of them. For them to use as reference. And they pretty much just like listened to them as they were painting, I guess. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, my, my heart rate is all the way back down. I have a very efficient heart, you guys. Calms down pretty fast. My ticker is very robust. Okay, so do you guys want to watch the new Life of Luxury video? And then... Maybe one more scary video after that? Just however long it takes me to eat my fucking food. I miss Chester too. Wait, so what's the story, Morning Glory? What's the story with uh, the Life of Luxury channel? I heard that they were having some trouble. With their production company, I think? Or maybe their, their media agency? I just can't stop dropping bars. <laughs> I'm dropping metal pipes on the ground. Nice heart, wish mine was that healthy. I run for 30 seconds and die. You can get it up there. It just takes time and patience. Honestly, I think I'm just, my genetics are just good. Which is weird because I actually have a history in my family with heart problems, but for whatever reason, my heart is pretty good. Pretty nice. Their MCN had fucked them out of video revenue for like years. But they recently got it started to where they're getting the revenue now, but for the interim still, I don't think. Fuck, man. Damn. Yeah, that happens a lot with, like, uh, media... what's it called? Multi-channel networks hey nine, how's and agencies it and stuff. Been a bit since I've been in here. Currently, Daka Dakking. Just Dak got a sick Daka. portal ninja from two rogues. Hope everyone's oh, having nice. a Throw great day. Lord of Three Bradley. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're having fun playing Dak and Daka. I heard they added a new duos mode. I kind of want to try it soon. I kind of want to try playing a different class too. But yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoy your spaghetti today, Thermboost. Let's fucking... 
party. I want to fucking party. I don't care. Sub from Nasa, we love you. Oh, Privet. I hope I said that okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, I'll put the video on. This is gonna be so scary. Are you guys ready? This new Life of Luxury video? This video is gonna terrify you. You guys might be traumatized by the end of this. Slay. What class were you thinking of trying next? Uh, maybe Ranger. Either Ranger or maybe Wizard. I don't know. Yeah, this is the same channel that does the we bought something on the dark web kind of videos. I love those so much. You're already full of trauma. Your your trauma cup overfloweth, I see. The ranger looks fun. I just wanna I wanna snipe people. Okay. I got my food. Are you guys ready? Are you guys tuckered in? John Tucker must die. Have you ever seen that movie? Do they, do they kill him at the end? Hydrated so I can piss myself. Nice. Alright. Here we go. Don't get too scared. Also, sorry if you hear me making disgusting eating noises. I'll try to limit my microphone exposure. Her mom's pregnancy is none of our business. And what if her mom is dangerous? Whoa! I think that this happens to anyone who is pregnant. It seems like my water broke. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to eat. This is too funny. <laughs> Subscribers. We never thought we would this can't this be real. Really no, bro, this you. channel is legit. They're actual next. paranormal and investigators. Likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we were what the fuck are we watching? A girl named Lucy, <laughs> who is concerned because her Important mom, media. Gloria, became pregnant and she thinks her mom conceived the baby in an unnatural way. What? Lucy thinks that if her mom gives birth, there's going to be something horribly wrong. Also, is the, the audio okay? She isn't even sure how her mom became impregnated. And since carrying this child, her mom has become animalistic and started smelling really bad. She sent us this She's video not good at smelling proof. anymore? You can fart in front of her and she won't be able to tell? Ooh, the mom honestly seems pretty old. But what are they trying to say? I, like... It was conceived in an unnatural way. Is it unnatural for an older woman to find love and reproduce? Hmm? What are they trying to hint at? <laughs> it was conceived in her butt? <laughs> this is just normal mom behavior. Now Lucy thinks her mom is going to give birth soon and she needs our help convincing her not to go through with the childbirth or something horrible will be born. So tonight we're going to drive to their house horrible. and see what's going on this with this family. I was going to see. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Oh, fuck that. Chester, let's go! Is so hard. Oh no, I know, Chester. That's how Bro, I feel when I play doing? a video game. I'm playing blocks, but it's so boring. I wish I had a cool game I could play. If you want a cool game to What's play, cool just game? download Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, let's Raid go! Raid Shadow Legends! Raid Shadow What's Legends! Yeah! Raid Shadow Legends is one of the biggest mobile games right now that oh everyone my God, is playing. I'm downloading In this it right game, fucking you save now. I'm not even kidding. You slaying bosses, exploring dungeons, and fighting against millions Bro. of real people. You can play on I will and download Raid Shadow Legends using their special link. Combat in over 400 million real players all across the world. There are over 700 channels. You can download this from the app. You where you are slamming shit around your apartment and send it to this guy. We can see if it makes it. Bosses. 15 awesome <laughs> factions. You could just take like 
hidden camera footage of like just a normal day at our apartment and then put a black and white filter over it and send it to a paranormal channel and they would lose their shit. Things like lizard men, orcs, elves, and undead. An endless customization with millions of different artifact combinations you can use to create a team of unbeatable champions. Yeah! Nobody's beating my team! And if you're a new player, if you download Raid now and use promo code JTSKIN, you'll get Stagnite, one of the best epic champions in existence, and a free skin is for him really designed the best, by John Trump. Raid champion? is constantly adding in new champions and game modes to play, like Sun Wukong, the mischievous monkey king. You can get Sunk his free Kong? legendary... Honk, the ancient Chinese monkey king. <laughs> okay, we can skip this. I'm sorry. Because Lucy says her mom has become unstable. It's not right to leave this girl alone with her. But there's nothing we can do about that. And what if her mom is dangerous? Dude, Next luxury dark Lucy's video, my VTuber boyfriend won't stop kicking his soccer ball against the wall. Attention away from her. It's, Bro, it's so funny. We have two soccer balls. We have like... Cause like you gotta for, when you go from room to room, you don't want to be soccer ballers, right? So I got one in here, and whenever he comes in my room, he can't help but fucking zero in on it and just start kicking it around, like fucking clockwork. It's called sibling jealousy. Wait, what? Who do you think is gonna get in trouble this this time around? Is it gonna be Chester or the other guy? Because Lucy says her mom has become unstable. It's not right to leave this girl alone with her. But there's nothing we can do about that. And what if her mom is dangerous? Sunk my Kong? Dude, I think Lucy's just exaggerating. She's probably jealous this new baby is going to take her mom's attention away from her. It's called sibling jealousy. Bro, mm. you don't have a psychology degree. And what are we going to do when it's time <laughs> for her mom to give birth? You don't need a piece of paper to help someone. Let's just drive That's there and so find true, out more actually. about the situation. <sighs> okay. He just wants to help. Chester's being kind of a bitch about this. I'm not gonna lie. The family's in trouble. Psychology isn't even real, yeah. Right. Imagine right going to school to study psychology. Let's go knock and talk to the daughter. Okay. With insane main character syndrome. He's just selfless. Hey, uh, I know this is weird, but your daughter emailed us. She says she's concerned about you. No, that was me. What? I emailed you. Wait, Wait. so your mom is pregnant? Yes. So is there acting she's like a bit pregnant. of joke? <laughs> she's extremely pregnant. How pregnant is she? Extreme. <laughs> she is so pregnant. She is hella well, can pregnant. Can come in and see her? Yeah, she's in the other room. Follow me. Oh my god. Hey, come on. Dude, how old is her mom? Bro. Moms should not be that old when giving birth. They're gonna... They might make another VTuber. No! What? She was just there. Where is she? She's gone? Well, where did she go? I don't know. She's really unstable tonight. Why is she smiling? Jester, where are you going? We just gotta go to the car. I think the daughter is in on it. She seems kinda sus. What's over there? Come on. You can't leave now. I'm baking you my special cookie. Oh, shit, alright. Is that her mom? Yeah. Bro, she's making cookies. You're in. Alright, well, we need to sit down and talk with her. stroke her big, Bro. extended belly. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, she's being so nice to them. 
Like they're they're her special guests. Mmm. There you cookie, sweetie. Oh. Okay, can you please sit down now? Those look okay. good. Ladies, thank you for sitting down. It's my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, what so the, Lucy. But why does the mom kind of sound like me? <laughs> she sounds like the fucking witch TTS voice that goes testicles, testicles. Sorry, I had to take a big bite of my sandwich. I'm not gonna lie, the mom is kind of cute. It's my pleasure, yeah. <laughs> Have some of my special cookies. Mm. Yeah, in 10 years? No, bro, this is me in like five years. <laughs> you emailed us because you're concerned I think about the, the your mom is kind of moe. She's kind of moe and kawaii. This isn't natural. She's 78 years old. What? I don't know how this happened. Um, she looks good for 78. How, this baby? how could I ask her? She lost her mind years ago. Mm. Hey, mom, how did you get pregnant? <laughs> well, you see, dear, well, your father and I loved each your other. Your father very nutted much. in my body. Dad's been dead for 10 years. Whoa! Mom. Gloria, this isn't natural for you to have a baby at this age. Can you please tell us, how did you become pregnant? How'd she do it? Bro, what is that? <laughs> oh dear, it seems like my water broke. <laughs> my socks are getting wet. Lucy, no, I think the your mom is going into wet. labor. Oh. You need to help us get her set up. Oh, yeah, uh, I have something for her, my car. Dude, where's she going? She seems so chill about like going into labor. Chester. When the water breaks, does it actually just like pour out like that? Or is that just like a movie magic kind of thing? Is it like is it like does it squirt? No, not really. It sloshes out. It's like a gush. How would you know? It's like a shotgun? It doesn't flood? Wait, so like, if a lady is just like standing around, her water breaks, like when she's standing up, it doesn't just like plop out, like onto the floor? Yeah, like a gushing granny? It feels like you're pissing yourself. Wait, Cynthia, have you given birth? Are there people in my chat that have like given birth to another human being? I had a family member get like reverse pregnant or something one time. The baby sucked up my aunt and was a spooky freaking ghost for real for real. What? Reverse pregnant like Benjamin Button? Was in labor for 56 hours? Wait, have you have your guys water ever broken? No, I've taken a really huge shit before. Oh, man. Nothing rivals that. Not even the miracle of life. Few people in chat are female and a few of them have had sex. Whores! I'm just kidding. But, wait, so, I don't, I don't want to, like, look this up. I feel like if I look it up, it'll, like, show, like, really disgusting pictures or something. Does it, like, dribble out? Does it, like, come out like a... Like a soft serve ice cream machine, but with like body fluids? Or does it like go like shh? Does it come out like pee? Why is this the part you were hung up on? Because I've always wondered. Everything all at once, instantly? Bro, do you feel it like. What is the water that breaks? Is it just like the fluid that's like inside of your fucking uh, uterus? Mm. Like a water balloon? Oh yeah, is it like a water balloon popping like inside of your body and then it just goes like out? The amniotic fluid, yeah. Mmm, amniotic fluid. 
Bro, they should bottle that shit up. It probably has so much nutrients in it, right? Because it's like the baby floats in it and like eats it all up. Eats that shit up. It like breathes it and gets the nutrients from it. So, bro, they can make like a farm with like pregnant ladies and just like time it to where their water is about to break and then just like position them over like a collection bucket and just bottle that shit up. And you could make like super soldiers just drinking that shit. It'd be like the new Gatorade. It'd have way more than electrolytes in it. Imagine a football team, instead of like a big like jug of Gatorade, they just have like amniotic fluid, just like the pure wholesome shit. Pregnanade! Yeah, Pregnanade! Yeah! Yeah, that's what elite athletes would do. Yeah, new kombucha. Any booch heads in the chat? You guys growing your little scobies? Your little kombucha scobies? Yeah, it'd be gluten-free and... I mean, is it vegan? Humans are animals, but like... If you eat human parts, I think it's still vegan, right? Because you're not like... Subjecting... Another, and another in the middle. Not vegan? I feel like we're like above animals though, right? We're like, like a higher species, so if we eat off of each other, it's probably fine. Like, is breast milk vegan? Yeah, because the humans can consent, is the thing. You could call Animals can't consent to being in. Coochie poochie. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's from the uterus. It's the amniotic fluid in the uterus. Animals are vegans? Yeah. If, if the person consents to being eaten, I think. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the whole thing with veganism? Is like... Animals don't consent to being eaten by us. And we're like... I don't know. We're killing our planet. We're hurting the animals. I go. It wouldn't be vegan, but I tell you what, that's some based booch. Make some hooch with that your booch. Booch. Yeah. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah, I think it'd be a pretty good idea. Wait, so do you feel like the uterus like empty out all at once? Like all the fluid just going like goosh. Do you feel it? Does it like pop? That's so fucking freaky. Why are humans weird like that? I wish humans just laid eggs. I'd be so much less gross and weird. I think she's coming right back. All mammals are like that? Well, I hate mammals now. I think they're stupid. Bro, she's gone. She's not coming back. What? Khan, we gotta go help Gloria. Her water broke. That means she's going into labor. Bro, I don't Oh even my god, think imagine that... if they have to deliver the baby. What? Oh, oh my god, she's right there. She's right Hello, behind them. Boys. Gloria, your water broke. We gotta get you set up. After she gives birth to this one, she might oh. want to get started on number two. Do you know? two want to do a puzzle? One of them. A puzzle? A puzzle? Gloria. Are you ready to give birth now? Ah, uh, not yet. I have not to yet. Find now I would say that if humans laid eggs, eggs, we wouldn't eat animal eggs. But then again, look at milk. Oh, bro. Hmm. I would eat human eggs. Dude, this old lady's nuts. Let's just go to her car. Unfertilized, bro, of course. Sooner or later, she's gonna give birth. If she's actually having a baby, we need to be here to make sure it's born properly. <laughs> but she's too old to have a baby. And why would her daughter leave? There's something sick going on here. Yeah, that's what we're trying to find out. I'm gonna set up some cameras to record her. Now let's How go to sleep. did she get pregnant in an unnatural way? I'm not gonna eat any of those cookies. I'll take one. This is good. A little extra protein, too.
Aww. Wait. Aww, they're sleeping in the same bed. Wait. Chester doesn't have his sunglasses on. Oh, she needs to see a chiropractor. I'm not gonna lie. Are there any, like, non-psychopathic people who purposely sleep like this? Like, on their back? Just like this. Like, they're a fucking vampire laying in a coffin. I can't- I can't sleep that way. Like, first of all, it feels uncomfortable, it feels vulnerable, and also, this is like the, the number one most likely sleep position to give you sleep paralysis and see demons. I'm not about that shit. I gotta sleep fetus mode. Fetus mode or nothing. Or like, free faller mode when you're like, stomach down. Whoa! Damn, you see how she's throwing that shit back? You do vamp style or on side? How do you do that? <laughs> no wonder why she got preg. Oh, he changed. <laughs> <laughs> me, me on my way to get a snack from the refrigerator at 2 a.m. Me getting up to go to the toilet and then not being able to sleep for five hours. Let her in! Bro, I think she's scared and she just wants to sleep in between them because she doesn't want to sleep alone. Can you get double pregnant? Oh fuck, he's got the camera out. I am the vessel. <gasps> What's she doing? A vessel for what? <laughs> Come on. Go. <laughs> Bro. I don't know if they should be messing with this lady. <laughs> Is she there? She is so it's pregnant. It's time for me to give birth now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go help her have this baby. Dude. Go have your baby right now. I can smell the amniotic fluid. You're... You're birthing yourself. Not yet. I think she's in here. Okay. Wait, they have like a whole birthing center set up in here? God damn, she's hitting those high notes. This is where she's gonna have the baby. Now come on, you gotta help me deliver it. Wait, did he set this up for her? That's kinda nice. Hold her. Hold her. Flopped. Ew. <laughs> Cannonball. <laughs> Slow motion replay. <laughs> you popped like a champagne bottle. <laughs> Bro, why is why does her hand go up like? <laughs> I don't know. Like she was dabbing. <laughs> Jeez. What is this stuff? Wait, 
where did it go? Did it crawl away already? Put that shit on baby Einstein's. Follow it. Okay. We gotta catch what? it. Oh my what god. Right. It's a slippery little fellow. Not want to go in there, bro. Oh hell no! Fuck no! It's gone. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where is it? <laughs> is that it? Wait, maybe that's the father. <laughs> I think that's the papa! Let's go! Oh my god, hurry! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Bro, the dad is probably like, oh, see, I don't know about that. He's probably just yelling because he's like, oh, god damn, my, my life is ruined for 18 years. And he's trying to run away. Dude, what the hell is that thing? I don't know. Did it follow us? Oh no. This does not bode well. Oh. Wait, is it trying to go back? It I think it's gone. Fuck. I wish I could do that with my mom sometimes. Wait, what's that? Dude, there's something there. What? Is that the mom? <laughs> what are they doing? Try your cookies. She ate at the camera. That was so expensive. You know how old pregnant ladies get. I wonder if her breast milk will come out all like coagulated and shit. Maybe it has some like sand in it. Neither of them answered. Thank you guys for watching this video. What Let's try to fuck? smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released video. right now. We're on the road. Best I'm so glad I feel like she's back. So make sure you smash that subscribe <laughs> yeah, button if you bro. haven't already. And thank you guys Phenomenal for watching. Phenomenal directing, thank you for acting, and thank cinematography. You for being I wouldn't have expected Army. anything less. Smash that button. Please subscribe to Life of Luxury. It's a very good channel. This one right here. Is the Luxury After Dark the one that has the uh, deep web stuff or the dark web stuff? Do not fall asleep at Petey's Playhouse. Life of Luxury. Life of Luxury. Oh, it's Luxury Dark. They haven't uploaded in a while. Luxury Dark. Wait, channels. This one is one. Silence. Yeah, it's been like 10. Oh, oh, oh. You motherfucker. How does that still get me when I've had an iPhone for like fucking this 10 what... million years? We bought an egg off the dark web and it hatched. God, I love the, the one with the dog.
Oh, and the baby one. This one's my favorite. The wife one is good, too. There's a few of these I haven't I just want to point out that her heartbeat didn't even get close to her rap lyrics heartbeat. <laughs> Bro, nothing, when it comes to my heart beating fast, nothing beats, like, uh, stage fright. <laughs> I can watch the scariest fucking video. I can watch, like, I don't know. Footage of people, like, literally exploding. Or something. Or, like, real paranormal footage of a UFO landing confirmed. My heart rate wouldn't budge a, a, a smidgen. Not even a little bit. But when it comes to just like singing or like performing on stream, I'm I'm done. I'm done so. Fine, I'm eating a, a gummy bear. <laughs> Her heart rate rises more when she laughs. Oh, something yeah. something monster saying. <laughs> I'm just a I'm just a joyful person, you know? What can I say? Okay, do you guys wanna what kind of gummy bear? They're black forest organic gummy bears. So juicy, so good. So good! They're also certified organic. These just come with my... Whenever I get my breakfast sandwiches, they always put these in the bag with them. As like a little extra. It's so cute. Can I have a red one? No! Those ones are my favorite! You can have the... The lemon flavor or the orange. Or I think it's pineapple. Watch Skibbity Toilet? No, 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 no. Um. Can I have a blue one? I don't think there are blue ones. Ah. Check out mm. Operation Prato, a real thing that happened in Brazil. Wait, is that like an alien thing? The gummy bear dropped her heart rate by 10 until someone asked for red. Yeah, I don't fuck around when it comes to my gummy bears. <laughs> I have food aggression. Um, watch the big Les show. I don't think you can do that on Twitch. <laughs> Wait, um, we could watch a chills video. I did technically finish my food. 30 scary videos disrupting my soul. Wait, this video is 40 minutes long. We can't. Scary videos that'll ruin your dinner. Do the parasite one? Oh. I can't do the nukes top five ones anymore. I just get so, like... I get frustrated. Because there's just so... They only, like, pick the videos that are just, like, the really boring ones where it's people in, like, a dark house doing ghost hunting bullshit. And being like, oh my god, did you hear that? And just nothing happens. I want the real scary shit. I don't care if it's fake. As long as it's scary, I'm good. Let's game. Okay, we can game. We, we can game. We game a little bit. What game do you guys want to do first? I have two. Because I guess we're not going to do the karaoke one. Apparently the karaoke one is very mid. I have the liminal space one, and I have one called Seven Night Goose. Pink Cat, I recently saw this video and wanted to ask you, oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Come from Bow! <laughs> Bro, whenever Selmya has like a, any kind of like genuine message, I just feel like something is off. Seven Nights, scariest one, you think? Wait, do you think this game will be actually like really scary? I just think it looks kind of goofy. You're just like in an apartment, there's like a, a ghost girl. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil it. It looks interesting though. The karaoke one is just manga? Wait, what? What was so bad about the karaoke one? Is it just not scary? Or... People were saying it was meh. Now why is it manka s? What makes it so manka s? Kinda boring. Uh, 
I hate singing. It had a oh a S A theme. I see. Okay. Ah. Uh, so it's not about ghosts or anything. It's just about like depressing real world shit. That sucks. Damn. I guess the the parasocial one was pretty like uh, that kind of subject matter too, but. A little manga s Would you play Unholy? What's Unholy? Yeah, she's asking what it's meant. You can't just answer what it's meant. I guess they probably just didn't want to go into detail about why. No, I can see why. I understand. I understand. I get you. Okay, let me boot this shit up. This is a very indie game. I will say. Why is it just like static? Can you guys hear that? It's just static. You see the... Okay, this is Seven Nights Ghost. This came out like a few days ago. I saw it on my, my recommended and I was like, oh my god, I have to play this fucking game. It looks so weird. Oh god, how do I change the language? Uh, th this is start. These are start. Is this settings? And this is close the game? Okay, here's the language. Nihongo. Change English. Yes. Display. Can you do windowed? I like windowed mode. There we go. Okay. I wonder, should I play on a gamepad? Or no? So is this based on the Adam Sandler thing? Did you just call Hanukkah the Adam... <laughs> Adam you should Sandler also check thing? out Five Days a Stranger. It's spooky scary. Wait, why are there... Whoa! Why are there so many games about, like, numbers of days? <laughs> seven... Seven crazy fries? <laughs> Wait, go, go, how, 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 how I go back, okay. Okay, I think I might resize the window on OBS. I don't know what's up with the audio though. I wonder if it's just the menu. Oh, it, it crashed. I warned you guys, this game is, this game is very, very indie. This is a, like, a, a fucking, like, asset flip indie game. Oh my god. Bro, I think the game is just fucking haunted. I I loaded it up, and the window I didn't touch it. The window just like sunk down beneath my taskbar, and now I can't open it anymore. What the fuck? How do I? How do I get it back? Oh, I gotta close it and reopen it again. What the fuck? Just play through the OBS preview. <laughs> Wait, I got the window back. It migrated to my other monitor for some reason. Okay. All right. Yes, this is a very, uh, very rustic kind of game. Settings. Okay. No audio settings. That's okay though. We can work with that. New game. I don't know why there's just like a persistent static noise. Okay, it's gone. What is this cat? Oh, I'm looking at the cat on my phone. Tozuku games. Settings more like a setting. <laughs> this seems pretty spooky so far. I wonder if it'll have like an M Night Shyamalan kind of twist. I love Twain Time. Everybody, go choo choo in the chat if you love Twain Time. You love when it goes choo choo. You love when it goes chugga chugga. Seven Nights Ghost. I guess I'm moving into a new apartment. 
I took about three hours from Tokyo by bullet train and local train and finally arrived here. For the next seven days, I'll live alone in this company housing until the mass production startup at the factory is completed. The note on the company housing should be in the living room. Let's check it first. Okay. Okay, so you look around with the mouse. Pretty easy. Wait. This apartment looks familiar. Why does this look so familiar? This looks like a like a VR chat world that I've been in. It's simple faux greenery. Wait. Okay. I thought the game crashed for a second. It like lagged. Microwave. Yeah, I gotta check on note or something. What is this? Why is this stuff here? Remove it? No, 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 no. I feel like that's like a... Isn't that like something that you put to banish an evil spirit? Ooh, nice bathroom. Wait, this bathroom looks familiar too. Here's the laundry! It's a drum washing machine, okay. Wait, how do I turn on the lights? It's too dark! Whoa, it's Master Chef! Is this a robot? They got some nice decor in here, I'm not gonna lie. An empty bottle? Oh... Is this lotion? Oh, it's hand soap, okay. More hand soap. I like how you can inspect everything. Shit, am I just a Japanese man? Oh, wait, bro. I think this is the same exact apartment from the Chilla's art game. Isn't it? Kind of looks like it. Is this just like a Unity, like pre-made asset? The lid of the food storage, okay. White towels are hung. <laughs> It's different. The bathroom looks incredibly similar. Also, it just looks like a VR chat room that I've been in before. Wait, is this my bedroom? No, this is the toilet room, of course. The hand washing station. The toilet must be separate from the bathing area. Because in Glorious Nippon, that's how they do it. So that the poop particles don't get in your bathtub. Oh, here's the note. Ooh! Oh wait, it's like a... What's this called? A studio apartment? This is what a studio apartment is, right? It's just everything is kind of in the same room. Very small. What is this? It's a draw knife? What's a draw knife? I'm gonna turn on the freaking lights in here. Water heater remote control. A note is placed. Perhaps this is a note on company housing. Confirm the contents? Yes. This is Sato from the property management office. Once you have tucked in, please tuck the following. Water flowing in the kitchen, lighting beside the bed, lighting in the restroom, lighting in the shower room. Okay. I have to check all the facilities. It seems this hasn't been used for a long time. I'm sleepy, so let's get it over with. I have a mission. Oh, hey, Tob. Yeah, it, I think it is a map in VR chat. Wait, okay, I had to click again. Top menu. Read the notes in the living room. Okay. Wait, what is this donut? <gasps> donut time! It's a smartphone. Confirm the contents. As I informed you in advance, the demolition of this property will start once you've checked out after seven days. If there's something left behind, it will be discarded. Please be careful. You're just gonna fucking demolish it? Welcome. To the haunted company housing, you will be the last resident here. Wait, so is this like uh, one of them stigmatized properties or whatever? And they're just gonna demolish it because no one wants to live here? Is this Audrey Hepburn? Or Ariana Grande? Who is this? I can't tell. It's Audrey. It's a cat figuring. I also have three cats at home. Aww. Wait, what's all this then? College notebook. I have to live here for seven days. Seven days. 
It's a donut I bought at the station. <laughs> Let's eat later. It's a blue pot. Okay, I need to check the water. Try to make sure everything is flowing properly. Oh, my water just broke. The water ran smoothly. Confirmation of water supply is completed. Whoa. Yeah, it's gonna get stale. Come on, bro. Wait, is it halfway eaten or just covered up by the, the napkin? Ooh. Wait, there's a doggy door. Confirmation is that what that of is? water supply is complete. Or is that like the mail door? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck was that, Sonia? Yeah. It it works. It just works. Okay, the lighting beside the bed. Let's see. Oh, bro, they got like the, the nipple lights in here. Is that what those are called? Pepperoni nipple lights? Mmm, pepperoni. I'm getting worried. I'm gonna... I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared and just fucking shit and piss myself. Is this the lighting beside the bed? Why is it so dark? Huh? Why is there like a cutscene for this? What do you- what is- Oh! What the fuck is that? Did you see it? Bedside lamp seems fine? Yeah, why is my camera lens so dirty? Look at all this shit on it. What the f- Is this just my eyesight? I think he needs to get that checked. He needs to get a little palmer pressed. What the fuck? Okay, the lighting in the bathroom. Let's go check it. Hopefully nothing weird happens in here. Oh, uh, pee pee poo poo check. Uh, I checked it. Ah, you fucker! You said the magic word. <laughs> Wait, I did? What's the magic word? Are you guys like... Oh, here's another light in the bathroom. God, that's so bright. What is it? Poo poo? Pee pee poo poo check. Pee pee poo poo. Poop scar. Got so much poop trauma. I'm sure it was nothing. I might just be tired. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. It was a long day at work after all. Maybe I should just hop in the bath. all in my head well okay all right yeah sure i'm sure it is yeah 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 it's nothing just a normal cute little apartment i hope nothing freaky happens in here i'm gonna be so mad it must have been the window mega keck <laughs> omega keck okay i gotta oh what the fuck did you see that did i did i did I hallucinate that or did you guys see that? I think you are scaring the ghost. Yeah, maybe she's just shy. Oh my god. What is this? It's a to- oh. The door just closed on its own. Bro. <gasps> Bro! I can't move! I can't fucking move! <laughs> I can't move! Oh my god! She's coming through a fucking wooden door! <laughs> I can't move! <laughs> Bro, she's so fucking slow. Hurry up, fuck up. Hurry up! Hurry up and kill me! Hello? Oh. Guys? 
What was in that donut that I ate? Who's swearing? Who's swearing over here? I'm saying a really long swear word. She just needed to duty and you're taking out the bathroom? Oh yeah, it was prairie dogging out. Probably poking through like... The TV is moving by itself. Is it malfunctioning? Mm. I want to launch Pepper Pig. Pepper Pig. Have they dubbed Peppa Pig into Japanese? Japanese with a British accent would sound so funny. Satoshi wo buto desu! Maybe it's somewhere near the TV. Yeah! Oh! Holy shit! The dirt bothers me? Yeah, why are, why are his eyes so fucking nasty? You need to like pop them out and wash them out in the restroom. Okay. Find the remote control. What the fuck? Did you see that? Uh, the remote control. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is this knocked over or was this. This is my luggage? Oh. Yes. Maybe it's in the closet. Why is there just like a fucking saw? Like a bone saw? Bro, I keep hearing shit. I keep feeling a presence. I don't think I'm alone in this apartment. <laughs> this is probably what it's like. Oh shit, I left the water on. Wait. Yes, stop the water. Maybe she's mad that I left the water on. She's like an environmentally friendly ghost. Ah, uh, the remote's not in the... <gasps> what the fuck? Not in the restroom? You guys know where the remote is? Fuck, this is just my daily life. Ah! Fuck off. <laughs> I hate that that gets me. <laughs> what the fuck? must be what it's like to live with me. I just like appear in the corner of your eye. I have the long stringy ass hair. What is this? A stick flat? What if I open this door and she's just right there? Shit. Fuck the remote. Where's the remote? Are you guys- one of you guys sitting on it? Wait, guys, get up. I gotta check out the, the couch cushions. Wait, is that it? It's an adhesive. <gasps> I saw- I fucking saw it! I fucking saw her, she was looking right at me! Maybe she has the remote. Maybe it's in one of these drawers? No, that's tape. Yeah, is she looking for the remote too? Maybe she's hiding it. She's playing hide and seek with me. I just think she's a little bit shy. Wait, maybe it's in here. Nope. In here? Oh, is that a, a lighter? What the fuck? Wait, that's it right there! I found it! Come on, ghost is fucking shark week. <laughs> not the not that kind of shark week, I hope. Finally got around to turning off the TV. I've done all the checking. I'm going to bed. You're just gonna go to bed after all that? Oh no, someone's saying a really long swear word again. What? Are you serious right now? Seems the TV is malfunctioning already. I'll call the property management office tomorrow. What the fuck is going on in this apartment? What are they trying to do to me? Where? 
her nails look nice. on your phone oh she want the donut i think i think she want the donut oh yes. she's shy <laughs> good calm down <laughs> This is like living with me. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like I was let off the hook. Wait. So if I don't keep feeding her donuts, I'm gonna just fucking die? <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> What? That can't be it! Bro, what? Little game? Oh! Okay. So it's like different days, you just load them one by one. I see, I see, I see. Thank God, bro. I want to see more of the, the ghost saga. Are all women like that? <laughs> They'll literally murder you in your sleep if you don't give them a donut? Yeah, I guess so. Seems that the rumors about this room are well known even in the factory. Did you see a ghost? I was asked three times. Everyone laughed so hard when I replied. I was attacked and robbed of my donuts. This room is even worse than rumored, but there's no other place to sleep. I'm trying to stay calm until the last day. Seven days. You're gonna run out of donuts. You're gonna have to get a baker's dozen. Another extra job. Wait, is the air conditioning broken? Set him up in the shitty ass, like, busted ass apartment. Check inventory of supplies. Yes, yeah, is, is he wearing glasses? Is that why there's like a bunch of shit on him? Maybe the ghost lady will clean my glasses while I'm asleep. The girl just needs a little treat every now and then. If I don't have my special little treat of the day, I will lose it all. I will kill. This is Sato. I'm sorry it's so late at night. For the definition, we'd like to collect some equipment in the room. May I ask you to check the inventory? Band-aid, laundry detergent, sellotape. I know where the sellotape is. I know where the sellotape is. Is it? <laughs> I think she wants to help. I got the sellotape. Maybe she just wants to ask a question, but she's just too nervous. She wants to see if he has any games on his phone. Okay, laundry I want detergent. Donut, please. <laughs> please give me donuts. Please, sir, may I have some more? Yes. Where would laundry detergent be? I remember seeing laundry detergent somewhere. Wait, there's another one of these on this wall. I wonder. Should I take them off? Are, am I right about these being like things that fend off evil spirits? I'm a little worried. This is dishwashing detergent. There's a big difference. Bro, I learned how to clean my washing machine yesterday. I felt so proud of... Was she just right there? I felt so proud of myself. It was getting kind of funky, like... They can get, like, build-up. An old tank, it's empty. You can get build-up on your washing machine, and it makes your clothes smell kind of funky. 
All you gotta do is fill up the, the washing machine with white vinegar and then run it. And you can use baking soda too if you want. It's in here. Whoa, what's, why is there a crowbar? Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, don't look at her! She's in the shower! Guys! Oh, she was right behind me! <laughs> Wait, can you get like tablets that you put in to keep it clean? That sounds way more convenient than what I had to do. I just ran like a super hot, like, cleaning. Oh, here we go. Detergent. Take that. A sponge. I just need a band aid. <laughs> where? If I was a band aid, where would I be? Where would I want to be? Aside from on someone's boo boo, of course. If I was a band aid, I feel very proud about that. Helping. <laughs> Okay, I can I can skip. I can skip. I think. Need donuts sooner or please better walk next time. She's she's so cute, but so terrifying. Why did she come up from below like that? You know what my fear with this game is? I didn't really look at much uh, footage from this game. I just saw it on Steam, and it looked kind of like kind of funny, jank, and kind of silly. I'm worried. <laughs> Game. It's, <laughs> the thumbnail of it just looks like like you know how you're browsing Steam games and you just see all those like shitty fucking like asset flip like sexy anime games. It looked like that. I'm like worried. <laughs> you know, Day of the Dead is making a lot more sense now why they offer the ghosts so much food. Is she just hungry? Maybe she's hangry. Did you download the right one? I think so. Yeah, do you, yeah, do you see like the the thumbnail for it? Like the what's it called? The cover art? Okay, band-aid laundry room is still a little while. Okay. Okay. I just have to hurry up and get the shit. I got the soul tape. The laundry detergent is in here. Now where's the fucking band-aid? God damn it! This is in a medicine cabinet. It's in a medicine cabinet. Look out! I need band-aids. Ah! Where, where do Japanese people keep band-aids? Do you guys know? Do they keep it in like a special room? This is all cutlery. This is all kitchen shit. It's like a can of tuna. Oh. Oh. Wait, these are like milk jugs. Okay. No. Do they keep their band-aids in the fridge? Do Japanese people keep their band-aids in the refrigerator? Any Japan experts in here? Maybe they keep them nice and cool because like the coldness helps the wound. Oh, band-aid. Oh, stomach medicine? They got medicine in here. Oh, shit. Wait. Is this it? Oh, I found it! Wait, why was there a bug? This is... Why is he picking it up with his bare... Oh, it's a beetle. It's a well-made stag beetle toy. Did the previous occupant leave it behind? Ooh, stag beetle. Mmm, big, strong stag beetle. Maybe the ghost will like it. Maybe she's a beetle fan. Beetleborg! Show it your cock. <laughs> Bro, I think this guy's gonna show the ghost his cock. I've made sure all the supplies. Oh my god, look in the clock reflection. <laughs> I need to call Miss. Oh, it's a Miss Sato. I'm pretty sure I left my phone on the table in the living room. Oh god, no, 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 no. 
So if you turn around and look at her just in time, she won't be able to like attack you, right? So how you do that? Miss Sato. Oh yeah, she's not married. Don't get any weird ideas, you guys. She's his work partner. Tomorrow will be early too, so ooh. Did she just pass out on the floor? She is hot. You don't you don't even know what she looks like. You just know her name. Yeah, she has low blood sugar. She needs something sweet right now. She needs her girl dinner. She's female, that's all I need. <laughs> okay, fair. Please, somebody help her. She is just so hungry. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I need my donut. I want my donut tweet. Bro, oh, what is she... What, what is she reaching for? Wait, does she just get like embarrassed? Where did she go? Oh, bro, she's scared of bugs. A g g ghost is scared of bugs? No way, bro. No way. <laughs> um. Whoa, this is awkward. Uh, people that, that's a we toy. Can fix her. Bro, she could kill us! She's scared of a, a measly little bug? A little... A little stag beetle? It's not gonna hurt you none, it's just a little toy. Ethel. Oh. I need my 2am donut. <laughs> yes. She just needs a soccer ball. Oh my god. Oh no, I made her mad! We have to get more donuts, stat. And possibly a Starbucks Grande Venti Triple Triple Matcha. She's not very good with bugs. I see. It is very difficult for her. Who <laughs> made this goofy ass game? It's by some developer called Tozuku Games. I just fucking randomly found it on Steam. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Every time I see that, I just <laughs> imagine the fucking banner on that boat with like President Bush. <laughs> okay, on to day three now. Things are starting to ramp up a little bit. The ghost is getting bold. Ladies and gentlemen, you got him. Is this how the Japanese government is teaching young men about women? This is how the Japanese government is teaching young men about women. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to improve the birth rate. <laughs> Guys, get a girlfriend. It's so cool. You, It's like having your apartment being haunted. I know that the pudding I bought yesterday is gone! There's only one person who could have done this. This is like having a girlfriend. It's her. She did it. Oh. If that were true, this donut I bought today is targeted too! No! Bro, get the fuck out of there. It's over. I have to hide it somehow. Where can I hide the donut that she won't possibly find? Hide the donuts. Oh my god. No, she's gonna watch me do it! I have to make sure she doesn't see wherever I put it. I'll just eat them, bro. But he's saving it for later. For a special treat. After work. 
Oh, I know. I know where the lid is. The lid is right here. Right here. Right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, where's the fucking uh, okay, food storage container? Where would it be? Probably in the, the cutlery area. Food storage. Food storage. Right here? Empty bottle? It's not a bottle. Oh, I guess it's like a... On its side. Bro, she smells it. She can smell that sugar. She smells the carbs. Mm. <laughs> She's getting cravings. Oh. Shit. Fuck. Where's the food storage container? Is it in here? Wait, that's just a tray. <gasps> oh! I got it. Is there any way to clean it? Oh, uh, in the sink, right? Wash food storage container. Ah. Uh, the cup of pudding that she finished eating. How cruel. This ghost is a fucking psychopath. Whatever happened to this ghost and like their living life? When they were on this planet before they went into the great beyond must have been so fucked up for them to exact this kind of revenge on the living. Can I wash it in the tub? How do Japanese people wash dishes? In the washing machine? And the laundry? Unfinished business. Maybe when she was alive... She never got to eat a donut. Fuck. I can't- I can't turn on the sink? How can I wash it? <laughs> in this sink, maybe? <gasps> maybe in the toilet? Maybe this sink? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do they not have, like, dishwashers? Oh my god. Sponge? <gasps> yeah, yeah! Good job! The punch! Oh, I've scrubbed the food container clean. Now I just need to hide the donuts when she's not looking. I'm gonna need something to attract her attention. <gasps> what could attract her attention? The TV, maybe? Hmm. There might be some kind of something some kind of bits and bobbles in these drawers that I could distract her with. A hole punch? Hole punches are fun. What do ghosts like? Oh fire! I can turn the lighter on. Oh fuck. No? Foreign books? Did the ghost read? Oh god, she's getting closer. Wait, 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 what's all this then? Do you guys know medicine? Band-aid? What is poultice? What the fuck is that? Poultice? What's a poultice? Isn't that what they make in Canada? Ah! Get away from me. Take this. <gasps> Find items to induce her. Use this to lure her to the restroom. I'll hide the donuts in the closet. <gasps> Oh, fuck! I'll put the... Okay, okay. Put the alarm in here. Is this the restroom? I guess this is the restroom because the bathroom is the room that has the bath in it. Where do I put it? On the toilet? <laughs> Wait, why? Why is she going to be lured into the restroom by an alarm clock? I set my alarm clock for one minute. Okay. Okay, now she's going in here. And then I can hide it. Wait, where? Hide the donut in the closet? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it'll go off... ...in like 30 seconds. Yeah, does she have like a poop alarm? I guess when she was still alive and poopable? God, this ghost looks so fucking poopable. Oh my fucking god. This ghost looks like a fucking... ...poopable specimen. Find more donuts for her? If only it were that easy. You just don't understand women, I see. You think you just buy her out with yes. just donuts? Everyone knows that girls need their poop alarm. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why is 
the alarm going off, guys? Oh, it's going off! It's going off! Ah! I put the donuts in the closet, I think. I think I did it. I think I did it. Now the donut is safe. I thought that... I bought that donut for breakfast before I go to work tomorrow. Yeah, that's a special time. You need that little treat to start your day. I won't let my modest enjoyment during the business trip be taken away any further. What? No! How did she find it? You bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> that... No way. No. It's not possible. It can't be. She... She was supposed to be in the bathroom. Please. Please return. She's just sitting there enjoying it. Just casually. That was supposed to be my donut. That should have been me. She's just taunting me. Bro, look at her just waving it in front of his face. She wants to share? Wait, maybe she does. Maybe this is all just one big misunderstanding. All is lost. I like her style, TBH. Yeah, she looks pretty... Pretty casual. Pretty slick. She has a nice mysterious vibe. Mission accomplished. Wait, so that was it for day three? Oh god. What about day four? What did we accomplish? Getting everything taken away from us. And now everything is over. Okay, day four. Let's go. I just wanted a donut. Yeah, he works hard every day. Just had it stolen right from under him. Cop men. I put hot water in the instant noodle. <laughs> Eating instant noodle at midnight is so unhealthy. <laughs> I'll say. But I'm so tired today. Let's just eat whatever I want and go to bed. I don't know about those knives, bro. I can't find chopsticks. That's strange. It was here yesterday. No way. She hid that. Wait, why would she do such a thing? She goes to the fat motherfucker. No kidding, the noodles will get soggy. <gasps> no, we're gonna run out of time. Hi. We have to exercise this ghost. <laughs> and by exercise, I mean exercise. Find of find of substitutes for chopsticks. Uh, drumsticks, uh, your fingers, four mi- I have five minutes to find substitutes for- Uh, toilet paper. You can wrap the food up in the toilet paper and throw it into your mouth. Uh, bleach? I'm just gonna drink bleach. Oh shit, she's right there. Wait, what about this lightsaber? This weapon could really drop things? Yes. I got the SF saber. Okay, substitute A, I need to find substitute B. But couldn't I just poke the food with one stick? I guess I don't do that in Japan. Okay, another... I need another stick-like thing. Get the fuck away from me. She's trying to steal my chopsticks again. You are such a bad ghost! You are in big trouble. Wait, maybe there's like a pen? There's gotta be like a pen or something. A fast drying adhesive, I could glue it to my mouth. Maybe? Shit, guys, I have four minutes left. I don't know. 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 Uh, this? A stick file? I mean, a stick file could work. No! It got so loud. Where was she? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. 
Too many fucking crickets. Uh, uh, bro, I'm running out of time. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Four, four minutes. Uh, it's a pliers. <laughs> it's a pliers. It's simple, really. It's a pliers. Yeah, why can't I eat the ramen with pliers? That would actually work. As like chopstick substitute. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Where even was she? I heard her, but oh. I didn't see her. I didn't see nothing. The cat figure can't be a chopstick. I have three minutes. Three minutes. What do I do? Do you guys know? Do we have a scissors? <laughs> Common scissors. Stomach medicine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. A clock hand? <gasps> Wait, really? Wait. No, I don't think so. Not the clock. Unless there's another clock that can be used. How many clocks are there in this place? Wait, I haven't checked up here yet. No, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Fuck! Two minutes. What do we do? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Bedside drawer? Okay, let's check it. Wait, a USB hub? Alarm clock. Um. <gasps> the hanger! I can. <gasps> Looks like it's made of wire. I think if you use for chopsticks, if I got it. Yeah! Let me find a tool that can cut the wire. Uh, this. A uh, hand drill. Uh, a stick file. Stick file. Oh, shit! I think there's tools. Um, in here? Yeah, the pliers! A pliers! Processing hangers? Yes. I found the pliers! I'm applying the pliers. I cut the hanger to the right length. <laughs> I did it. I finally finished eating them using impromptu chopsticks. Nice. I hope I won't get a stomach ache later. Wait, why? Because you didn't use real chopsticks? Would it... What is she doing over there? Oh god, I left all the fucking drawers open. Wait a minute. Got my chopsticks and fork back now. She took the fork too? Oh, from eating noodles at midnight. That girl, she's just messing with me. Now she's walking, watching backwards TV. She's walking in Phoenix. Oh, she's literally just sitting here watching on her fucking ass watching TV eating my noodles. Wait, is he just sitting down next to her? Can I ask you a question? Oh shit, bro, he's going for it. Why don't you go to heaven, bro? Oh no, he fumbled it. What the fuck? You don't- you can't just ask a girl that. See, now she's pissed. That was L Rise. Yeah, bro, it's a sensitive fucking subject. It's like asking a girl how much she weighs. He should have followed it up with... Because you're such an angel. Wait, what did she write? What's it say? I always wanted to live with a good-looking man? Jeez. <laughs> By the way, you're not good-looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Uh, they had us in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. I see. Bro, what is this fucking game? <laughs> Do you think she's just being Sundiri? Do you think she likes him? Maybe it's like, you know how kids bully each other when they like each other? Maybe the ghost is just bullying him because she likes him. Maybe... She's going to haunt his entire family line and traumatize him for his entire rest of his life. Just like a living woman. This gives off so much Sundiri. I know. Oh god, day five? Do you think he could... I don't know. Do you think he could pull it off? Creator just wanted a ghost waifu. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's kind of cute. What is this? From the direction of the TV. Oh my god. Did you break my favorite cat statue? You bitch. She's lucky she's already dead. It's the cat figurine displayed beside the TV. Did she drop it? Its tail is broken off. We had to glue it! Or tape it. Oh my god. Looks like she's in shock? Oh no. Repair of the cat figurine. We need appliers. I feel so bad for him, yeah. He's really going through it. Honestly, I'd prefer a ghost that just like shows up at the foot of your bed and just like screams and says demonic words at you at 2am. Or just a ghost that makes a mess of your pots and pans. And it's like a... The spirit of a Victorian orphan from 5 million years ago. Pocket light with clip. Take this, I got the clip light. Conveniently, there's a light on here. Okay. She- she fucking took off the power! How am I gonna find the adhesive? Yeah, back in my day, we had good old-fashioned ghosts. Not this woke bullshit. Why does the ghost gotta be a girl? She needs to wipe off his fucking glasses. I hope that's a plot point. To explain why there's all this fucking dust on the screen. Find flashlight. Wait, don't I... I have one, don't I? Oh, fuck. No, when it's dark, it's even scarier. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Do you guys remember seeing a flashlight anywhere? Wait, there's a lighter? Ah! <laughs> I mean, a letter could work. I, I literally have like a fucking light. Oh, okay, so it's already found. Okay. I don't know why it like said it on the screen as if it was my, my main objective. Okay, adhesive A and adhesive B. Adhesive A and adhesive B. You cut that out right now, Missy. The adhesive was... Uh... <laughs> I hate how cheeky she's getting about it. It was in one of these drawers, wasn't it? Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Where was it? Let this be a reminder. I don't fucking when remember. you go get your 2am donut, turn the lights on for Lord Ethel's sanity. <laughs> I'm waiting for my donut! Holy fuck! 
I just gotta keep fucking moving. Uh, adhesive, adhesive. I, I've seen it a million times. I don't remember where the fuck it was. Did she hide it? I think she fu She fucking hit it! Left of TV, further left? Oh. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. Left of TV, left of TV. <gasps> oh! That's cello tape. Left of TV. Left... Left of TV? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is this it? Oh, yeah! I got a his way! No, I don't... Oh. Adhesive B can just be tape, right? Where would the other adhesive be? This? <laughs> Motherfucker. I believe you have my stapler. My blue stapler. Bandage. That's my poutine. <laughs> the kitchen cabinet? Okay, let's look, let's look. Yeah, maybe it's in one of these, one of these drawers. What the fuck is this? A tea bag? Huh? Do you guys like tea? I haven't actually had just straight up tea in a long time. I used to have a kettle before I moved, but I got rid of it because I got rid of most of my stuff before I moved. We're drinking tea right now. God, oh, that is so nice. I could make the water in the microwave, but it's just not the same. You gotta brew it to like... Oh god. Oh god, leave me alone. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You have to brew it to a specific temperature for certain teas, and you can't really do that with microwave. Bro, where is this fu Oh! Fuck! Where is this fucking adhesive? Did I miss it? It's not in here. She was about to tickle your bomb. She was doing a little... I thought that was in the game. I've, I've even... I've heard that fucking TTS sound effect so many times and I thought that was in the game. You're such a fucker. You're such a fucker. You're a fucking vagina. You're making big shits and... Big, big shits. You're making big shitting time. It's an eraser. I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna fucking die! Drawer underneath the TV? Wait, I can't... I can't open that. Oh god, she's coming. <laughs> uh, can I ask you a question? Wait, is this it? There's nothing in here! Fuck! I'm gonna lose my shit. Right of TV, mid drawer. Mid? This one? There's nothing in there. There's fucking nothing in there. This is a sticky note. Is it this one? Box of medicine, vitamins. Shit. There? All the way right? Wait, really? I thought this was a uh, poultice. Bottle of medicine, band aid. Oh, whoa. Wait, is it on a shelf or in a drawer? Am I blind? Right there? Wait, are you guys fucking with me? I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. I'm so stressed out. No, it's medicine. Oh. That top drawer? That's a lighter. Fuck. It is always the last place you look every time. That's just faux greenery. A lot of foreign books. That's the USB hub. Maybe it's in this closet? Shit. Jug in the bedroom closet? Oh, shit. 
I think that's just an empty tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's just right there. Where the fuck is my stuff? I told you not to mess around with my stuff. Shit. Bottle of bleach? Detergent? A sponge? Why does she make that like banging noise? Maybe the restroom? What day is this? I think it's day five. It wouldn't be in the refrigerator, would it? Maybe she's playing a prank. She's playing a prank on me by hiding stuff in a place where you wouldn't expect it to be. Got the mystery meat drawer. Every Japanese family has that, I think. Maybe the restroom, yeah, yeah. But who the fuck would put adhesive in the toilet room? Mm. Ah! Mm. What the fuck? Was that one of you guys? What was that? Was that my phone? This is Sato from the property management office. I found a small tube with something that fell in the gap between the washing machine and the wall. I didn't have time and left it there. It's probably trans. <gasps> oh, the washing machine, the wall. Ah! That's where it is. That's where the other is. Right here, right here. Oh my fucking god. Oh. I found it. I just need a file or something. I know what the files are. Oh my god. This ghost is so nosy. Is this for ghosts? Okay, this is a, a stick file. Not suitable for precision... Precision machining? What does that even mean? Just get better at it. How does he still have this hanger if he used it to make a chopstick? Oh god. Please. Please let me turn the lights back on. One on the box? Yeah, maybe it's just really... Oh, right here! Yes! A tiny stick one. It's a stick... A stick file. The glue got the tail to stick. Now all I have to do is file away the glue that's sticking out and clean it up. Okay. Careful. He's doing all that in the dark? Wait, rip... I have to... What do you mean? What do you mean? I have to do it! Repair progress 0%? Oh my god. Is that 12%? Wait, can I go faster? Wait, she's looking. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Bro, this reminds me of being in like high school and fucking around on my phone in class. Oh! And just having to like check to see if the teacher is looking at me. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh shit! And then I just like stick it in my trapper keeper. Where the fuck are you? Where are you? Ah! She's getting closer. She just wants to see what I'm up to, I think. Do you think she plays video games? Rotate it? Oh, how... How do I rotate? I think you just file it. Like this. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I think she's gonna get me next time. It's fucking over. Does she just get closer and closer if you let her get too far? Oh, no, I guess not. Maybe she likes cats? Yeah, maybe. Maybe she just wants to help. Oh. This is just an autistic girlfriend simulator. <laughs> I know, I was saying, like, this is just... <laughs> This is Ethel's day-to-day -day life. <laughs> it's 
this is me when I come into his room and he was like hyper focused on FL Studio or something and has headphones on and I jump scare him accidentally. <laughs> Babe, I want to get donuts. <laughs> Bro, she's so fucking clingy. Let me repair my cat statue. <laughs> Do you think this sound plays like every time I appear anywhere? <laughs> so I can't turn my cam on. The sound, the sound would get too annoying. <laughs> God, this game is so fucking goofy. How do you even think of this? This definitely started as some like Japanese dude developers like... I think this guy was a little down bad. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna help the birth rate problem in Japan, I'll be real. Young Japanese men are just gonna be moving into apartments just hoping that it's haunted so that they can fuck a ghost. <laughs> Can you blame him? <laughs> Can ghosts even get pregnant? Maybe they get pregnant with a little... Like a little Casper. Isn't Casper like a... Well, I guess that's just because a, a child died. I guess it's just from a dead child. Never mind. I mean, in the life of Luxury Vid, that was just like a normal human woman who was a vessel for demons. <laughs> Please, let me finish my figurine. I need to finish my Warhammer figure. Repair is complete. Aww. Nine when walks into Ethel's room. Babe, I want Froyo. <laughs> Fuck, the TTS voice <laughs> fucked up, but that was so good. <laughs> I want Froyo. Oh my god, no. Is she... She's not getting violent, is she? Maybe she needs some retail therapy. Do you think she can, like, leave this house? Or if you're a ghost and you're haunting a house, are you just bound to that area? Is it like being on house arrest? I want to take her to get a makeover. so bad that she broke it. I'm sorry, was it unnecessary? Oh, She liked it? Maybe we can be friends. Aww. Okay, bro, you better not fucking fumble this. Why is this- why is this cute? <laughs> I thought this was gonna be really dumb. <laughs> she was very happy! Yay! That's awesome and cool. I made the ghost feel very warm and appreciated. When I fixed the cat statue, she liked it a lot. And maybe now, she'll calm down and we can watch TV together. Maybe I can show her my... My Warhammer figurine collection. Don't fumble that ghost to see it.
<laughs> oh my god, day six. What do you think will happen on day seven? Time to get ghost busting. There's gonna be a whole lot of ectoplasm in this place. The life here is nearly over. What does he mean by that? Wait, so he... Oh, that's right. He has to leave. They're gonna demolish it. I was surprised I made a roommate, but I've learned a lot about how to deal with her. <laughs> oh, God. How do you deal with your autistic girlfriend? <laughs> this room is scheduled to be demolished in the two days! I'm a little concerned about what will happen to her after the demolition. No! She can't leave! I mean, I can't leave! Hey, he's here for his business. Wait. What does she want? Oh, I think she left me a note. And there's a sticky note with a key? I think I see a number. She fucking essayed. He's up to mischief again. Oh no! Oh my god, I sort of... If this bitch turns off the lights again, I'm gonna be so upset. Find time of rest. Wait. Like the time that she died? Yeah, it's been like... Okay, it's day six now, so... Do you think he's... Do you... Do you think he, uh... Quick! Distract her with train facts. <laughs> Quick, throw, throw a fizzer spinner at her. This is Yokoyama. Thank you for telling me about Nina. I'm very sorry I suddenly made an unreasonable request to you five years ago when you had just joined the company, but I still think it was the right thing to ask you. Thank you very much. It's already been five years since you joined the company, but time flies by so fast, doesn't it? Please give my best regards to your family. Wait, what does this mean? I don't understand. It's all a bunch of business shit. Oh, fuck. Wait. I'm trying to read your note, bro. Don't haunt me. Don't do the freaky stuff. Must you solve all the riddles? You're stuck in this room forever? By the light box, grid lines indicate the keyhole, follow the numbers, and crush the squares? What does that mean? What is the fucking code? From the mouth of the white porcelain emerging in a cloud of white smoke, a sign sound signpost pointing to the key. Okay, the light box is obviously the the TV. The mouth of the white porcelain emerging in a cloud of white smoke? Is that the toilet? The key unlocks the door of impurity. The pair of sake cups show where it is. The door of impurity. What does that mean? When the sake cups are set on the table, the world will regain its light and warmth, and people will find the time to rest. That sounds... good. The trash can? Yeah, is that it? The door of impurity. I know this is one of the, the puzzles. How do you do this? Strange paper is pasted. Check it closely? Yes. Yes! Guys, I think I might need help with this puzzle. How do you- how do? What is it? Oh shit, where is she? What does it mean? What do the symbols mean? Crush the boxes? Is this like Sudoku or something? Fill in black squares, like according to this legend right here. Uh... This makes no sense. You need to make those shapes? Oh, like, uh, like that? And then... Wait. Like that? And then... Uh... Wait, I'm so confused! What does it mean?! Look for corners, kind of like Tetris, then just fill in the corresponding black shapes. They're portions of the full grid. I... One on left looks like the top right corner. <gasps> oh! Like that? Okay. And this is another corner, right? Hey! 
Like that? Like that? Wait a minute. Kind of looks like a heart. And then... Wait. This one's the bottom left corner, so one, two, three. Wait, four. Oh! I did it! Oh, how does she not have learned how to give us some fucking space? You don't understand a woman's heart, do you? What is this illustration? Fountain? I think I saw it in the restroom. Oh, the porcelain? The porcelain throne with the white smoke. Daddy is poo-poo chamber. Wait. Oh, that's right. Restroom over here. Is this it? It's a toilet cleaner. You! Stop! No! Where is she? Is she stuck? I really hope the, the ghost doesn't get stuck in the laundry machine. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. So maybe this sink right here? Wait, no. Locate key. I gotta look at the note again. On the road again. Okay. From the mouth of the white porcelain emerging in a cloud of white smoke. Okay. Emerging in a cloud of white smoke? <gasps> this! I gotta boil the water and then the steam comes out. Okay. It'll come out in the, the cloud of white smoke. Are we finding the key to the ghost girl's heart? Do you think a marriage between someone and a ghost would be legal? Wait, now what? Do I just wait? Oh god. It's not legal, I checked. What, when did you check that and why? Okay. He unlocks the door of impurity. Wait. One more time. A signpost pointing to the key. So it's this way! Is this impurity? I mean, you put dirty clothes in here. It's either that or the trash! Slash. Slash. Oh. Why did it say slash? Slash. Slash. Where the fuck is the trash can? Oh god. Are we effed? I think we're fugged in the bud. Up at the cabinet? Up at the cabinet. This cabinet? Up at the cabinet. Up at the cabinet? Above the stove? Up here? Or up here? Where the steam is pointing? Yeah, like... I can't open this though. It's just like the la 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 fucking uh, a steam gobbler. What the fuck? Uh, what the funk? Where's the door of impurity? Maybe it's her asshole. Item list? I don't have anything yet. Fuck. Locate key. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. What? Your stolen goods are now forfeit. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> you, you bitch ass. Motherfucker. 
Uh, the door of impurity. It's probably not the bed, is it? Maybe the key is Jesus. Maybe the key is all the friends that we made today. What? Oh, is this a hint? Wait, hold on. No, don't look at my phone. Uh, it's just a business message, I swear. Get the key on the desk? The desk? The desk? What desk? Oh! I got a sticky note with a key. Now what do I do? Moisten the stickies with steam. <laughs> I moisten my sticky with steam? Hmm. It's quite stickening now. It's making moistening. Oh! I bet you didn't expect me to get this far with your little riddle. Oh, hot. Careful, ain't nothing worse than a steam burn, I'll tell you what. I'll send you right off. Gonna get third degree burns. Gonna need some Neosporin. Okay, find the key. Now what? I located the key, but I have to... F what does that mean? Locate key? Find key? Doesn't that mean the same thing? Wait. There's numbers on sticky paper here. 2375? 23-75? Wait, that's a mathematical equation! She's making me do math? This ghost is fucked up. She needs to be sent to hell. Please call a priest. This is too far. I think it's 2 times 3 minus 75. Uh, PEMDAS! Uh, P... PEM... PEM... P... Plus? PEMDAS. 23 minus 75 is 52? I don't think it's 23, it's 2 times 3. But why did she put the multiplication thing on just the... I guess she ran out of space. That's kind of moe. That's kind of moe and kawaii of this ghost to do. It's negative 69? Can you move the binders? Let's see. No. Negative 69? Maybe I need to change this to be... No. What was the other hint? The door of impurity. Key unlocks the door of impurity. A pair of sake cups show where it is. Sake cups. The sake cups! Where are they? In here? Those are empty bottles. <laughs> Is this a sake cup? Is this a sake cup? This is not a sake cup. Did she take my sake cups? Is this ghost drunk? I think this ghost might be a little drunk. Oh! No! Why is it quiet? I don't know. Look at post-it no in inventory, okay. Bath! I'm so stupid. That's why we moistened it. To reveal the, the hidden ink. Oh my god, I need my fucking medication so bad. I need my smart pill. I need my smart pill right now! Wait, this isn't even the bathroom! Yes, it is! Ooh, oh you. Wait. Okay, I'm in the bath. Now what? Don't come in here. I'm naked. Maybe it's in the vent? Okay. This is the door of impurity! Because, uh... I mean, I guess... Pretty impure to be naked. What does this mean? Box? 3F? TV? F? Box? 
black box three lines f tv f what i mean you're impure when you go into the bath something is painted on it like this i got the sticky notes with the symbols wrong okay it's simple enough Get away from me, I'm warning you! I'm gonna need a new pair of underwear. Okay, pair of sake cups. It's two sake cups. You guys remember where they might be? Oh! They're not in the kitchen, I don't think. Unless they spawned in right now. Are they up here? That's just an empty bottle. That's just a common plate. Maybe with the socket? In your AC unit? No way. No. No. What do the symbols on that sticky note even mean? Oh, fuck. No? It was like a black box, three lines, TV, F. What does F mean? What the F? Um, what the fuck? Is this sake? <laughs> oh, this is really giving me the creeps. What is this scary? F means fridge? This fridge is so empty! That means fridge? Is this sake? Wait, are these sake? No, they're not. They're sake cups. Sake... Sake bleu! It was right next to the TV, was it? I think near the TV is just Mr. Up. Fart Fart. That's a book. Okay, those aren't right. Whoa! Oh god. I don't see them! Am I... Am I losing my mind? Am I blind? It's so dark and it's so hard to see. Oh my god. Want a hint? Yes, please! If you- Oh god, if you know- <laughs> If you know anything about how to play this game, I, I- I fucking beg of you. Black box, three lines, S to the black box. Oh shit. Why can't god ghosts ever haunt in the day? Maybe they're like cats, they're nocturnal. Look for the symbol that you drew in the riddle on the wall. This symbol. Wait. This symbol? It looks like a... a Y. For an elephant. It looks like an upside down dick and balls. Is it the clock? No. These balls. It said it was a fountain. Oh, like a bidet? This is a sake bottle. No, that's toilet cleaner. <laughs> is this the symbol? What happens if you remove these, by the way? I feel like... Something bad might happen. Desaturated picture? Maybe there's like a picture with that symbol on it. Oh god, thank god it's another hint. Please! Follow the key and press the switches in the cable and sequence. Square, stop, TV, fountain. F, female, three lines, three lines. Wait, what? <laughs> now I'm even more confused! Oh, what the fuck does this mean? 
This fucking Google translated game! Follow the key and press the switches in the keyhole in sequence. Square, stop. Wait, is there a remote? Stop, fountain, female, three lines. TV? Why is TV fountain? I don't get it! Here, let me... Yeah, let me check this note. That's all I can do. That's all I can do! <laughs> I don't think it's the remote control, because nothing happened when I touched it. Is it the bidet controls? Wait. It kind of looks like the spray that comes out. The highest your heart rate has gotten this game has been over the stress of the puzzle. Yes. Wait, here it is! The fo Whoa! Is this really it? The bidet controls? <gasps> that is the symbol! It's the, the, the same fucking symbol on my bidet! Okay, so... Fuck. Square? Three lines... Fountain... T... Okay, wait, no, no, no. Female. Fountain... Square? Three lines... Female... Fountain... Uh... Stop? Wait, she's looking at me! Stop. Lines. Female. Fountain. Female. Stop. Did that work? Wait. Wait. She's coming. She's coming. I don't know if that worked. One, four, three, two, three, one. Square. Three lines. Female, TV, female, square. Okay. The TV is the fountain, right? Stop sign, three lines, square, female. Am I doing it right? Oh yeah, the sake cups. Do I need to put the sake cups there? That's right. Fuck. Well, at least we figured out the... Oh my god, what is this? What is this menu that I just pulled up? I pulled up the fucking G-Force experience. Whoa, too many Gs. Okay. Sake cups. If only we could find those blasted sake cups. Yeah, sorry. I accidentally turned on my aimbot that I used for playing indie... Unity store horror games. Sake cups. Do you guys know, like, legit know where the sake cups are? Because I have no fucking idea. I've looked so many places. Where could they be? Wall to the right? Those things are candles? Are they candles and sake cups? Wait, wait, wait. Other is cup, maybe? I don't think so. They're all just candles. These are just big bottles. What about these? That's just a fucking succulent! A succulent Chinese meal. None of us played this? Yes, you did! You literally played it just yesterday. You're all fucking lying to me because you want to toy with me and be bastards. Cabinet above the fridge? Okay. <laughs> Wait, these are just empty bottles. <laughs> we were playing Starfield yesterday? Bullshit. That game hasn't even come out yet. What fucking timeline are you in? Bro, Starfield has been in development for like 10 years now. It's never coming out. Now, if you said you were playing the new Elder Scrolls game, I'd believe you. That shit was so good. I know life that all weekend. That's why I didn't stream. 
Yeah, Elder Scrolls 6 is so fucking good. The map is huge and they... They really outdid themselves with all the quests and stuff. All the gay sex cutscenes... So superb. If I don't find these sake cups in the next five minutes... We're gonna have a fucking problem. It's not these, is it? Oh, that's just a fucking vase. Or a vase. Profile is a ghost? I would not be this annoying. No offense. Try inside the toilet paper. Yes. Pretty sure you need to do the puzzle with the bidet controls. Yeah, do we have to do that first? I thought I... I thought I put it in though. I inputted it. Yeah, on our task list it says... Find the pair of sake cups. Here, let me check the... The note one more time. He unlocks the door of impurity. The, so the pair of sake cups show where it is. When the sake cups are set on the table, the world will... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You input it, but it didn't worm. Wait, you missed one of the inputs when you did the toilet puzzle? Wait, do I have to ooh, open the lid before I put the thingy in? me alone it's my precious toilet time i don't think i can pop the lid no shit do the puzzle faster okay square three lines female spray female square wait can you guys write that in the chat i'm not gonna remember that's too many things in sequence for me to remember right now I can't even remember what I just said, like, uh, half a second ago. I don't even remember what I'm doing right now. Two, three, one, and that's it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, where, where are the fucking numbers coming from? These are, these are symbols. Three, two, one, square, three lines, okay. Female. Where? Am I just not doing it fast enough? Oh! I guess I- Oh! <gasps> 39! A sticky note is pasted. That's the binders! I think. This thing is painted on it. Take it. Okay. 39. I have opened the door of impurity. It is the toilet. I wanna watch this ghost take a shit. I wanna see what her face looks like when she's taking a shit. Maybe when she's straining a little bit. It's coming out. Or maybe the look of surprise on her face when it plops down into the water and maybe a little bit of toilet water splashes under her cheeks. And she's just like, ooh, that was cold. I wanna see the embarrassed look on her face when she's wiping her ass. She's ashamed. Fucking hate her. I want to drown her. I want to scalp her alive. Cool stream. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Desi MX. All while whiffing that rancid stink. Imagine she she takes a really, really hot, stinky shit. And you like go into the bathroom when she's done and she's like visibly embarrassed about what she just did in there. Imagine. Binder puzzle, yes. Yeah, it's gotta be the binders, right? Okay, 39. Wait. Two, two times three minus 75. Wait, so where does 39 fit into this equation, literally? 
Make it equal 39? What does that mean? Rearrange it to be 30. Oh, I can rearrange them now. How do I make 39? Leave me alone. I'm doing my math homework. Two. Okay. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Two. Yes. Wait, I just. <laughs> I just put it back to how it was. Okay. Um. Uh. Do. Do. Uh. What about now? Seventy my seventy five, and that's not that's not thirty nine. How? Oh. Fifty three minus two times seven. Like that? Oh! 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 What's in here? Wait, that's not... Find pair... What? That was a mug. Is this sake cup? No, bro. That's clearly a mug. Is this... Is this a pliers? What's going to happen now? Oh no, she passed out from low blood sugar again. Wait, no, maybe she was... <gasps> maybe she was hoping I wouldn't be able to solve the puzzle so that I'd stay here forever. Oh wait, the lights are back on! Oh! Oh, bro, she used the boiling water to make tea for us. Now we're just gonna chill and watch TV. Oh, what do you want to watch? I'm, I'm chill with watching anything. What is this, like a travel documentary? It's pretty cool. Oh, fuck yeah, it looks like she made some black tea. Aww. She wanted to pay me back for making the, the cat statue back to normal. Can I have it? Why is she tapping? Oh, is that your way? Oh, it was! Bro, she's saying thank you for the cat statue. Aww. No problem, bro. Those were your last two. Thank you so much for this. Aww. Wait. There's just one more day. Then he has to leave, and the place is gonna be demolished. Maybe she can come with him. Aww. Bro, she was smiling. The tea she made was heartwarming. Now she's going to kill him in his sleep. She's going to suffocate him. Tomorrow would be my last night in this room. Hey, maybe she knows the place is going to be torn down. Mission accomplished. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, what now? Do you think- do you think they're friends now? I, I solved all her riddles, I gave her a donut. What else do you have to do to keep a girl happy? <laughs> if you wish to go out with me, you must solve my riddles three. <laughs> You must escape my eternal labyrinth. I will place you in a hall of mirrors and you have to find the right one. She's in a bad mood. She's been like this since I got back. She keeps taking it on the furniture. Wait, why? What's wrong now? 
I'm sure she knows that tomorrow's room will be demolished. Oh, demolized. It's gonna be demolized. Please don't demolize the room. But my guess is that she probably... She's throwing a temper tantrum. Quick, you have to get her a stim toy. There's something I really need to tell her. <laughs> She's playing on a fucking action figure. Anyway, I need it to calm down for once. Oh fuck, no battery. The battery has run out of charge. Wait, I know where the USB charger is. It's next to the bed. I'm becoming so intimately acquainted with every part of this uh, apartment. Tell the truth? Hmm. That's gonna be difficult. We must confess to our ghost GF. Do you think that's it? Oh no. 1% of battery? 2%? Oh, he already plugged it in. Oh, shit. Keep esca escaping until the charge is complete. Well, that should be easy enough. Unless she gets all up in my grill. I've escaped her pretty fine up until now. What's she gonna do? Fucking charge at me like a track and field runner? God. Yeah, can't you use your phone while it's plugged in? Or is he one of those, like, super, like, conscious folks? Because technically, you can fuck up your battery health if you use your phone when it's plugged in. You're supposed to just leave it alone. Maybe it's like that. Yeah, it's bad for your phone. You're not supposed to charge your phone to 100% anyway? Wait, why? Are you supposed to leave it at like 99? I've heard the opposite. I've heard that you shouldn't let your phone reach like 0% battery. Because it can exhaust the battery having to go from 0% and like charge back up. 80%? Both are true, it's bad for longevity. That's me. Ma that makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. You want to keep your battery between 20% and 80%? How do you make sure of that? Like, what if you have to charge your phone while you're asleep? That's so stressful. No thanks, bro. I'd rather just buy a new phone every four years. Some phones have settings, like to automatically stop charging at a certain percentage. Wait, do iPhones have that? Okay, 41%, let's go. 42%. Almost a half. Do, 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 do. Get out. I have to go pee pee. to tell the truth? Wait. Huh. Huh. How did I... How did I get caught? I thought you get caught if you, like, let her get too close to you. I didn't even hear her approaching. Hakuna she spawns Matata. in corners. Oh, bro fumbled a bad bitch. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> oh shit. No, I'm back at 1%. It's gonna take so long. Reddit, am I the asshole? I got a new apartment and it's haunted by a ghost girl. I don't know if I can tell her it's gonna be demolished today. But she ate all my donuts and stole my chopsticks. I kind of, I have to admit, I kind of like browsing that Reddit. The am I an asshole? Or am I the asshole? And the, the relationships Reddit. God, it has the juiciest fucking drama. That's how I get my fix when I don't have shitty reality TV. So did you know a lot of guys have ghost girl kink and her just spooking you in the bathroom is the good end? I, I did not want to know that. I did not want to know that. <laughs> what it, bro, like, you're like taking a shit on the toilet and she shows up and just starts tickling your butthole? Like, Gucci kill. 
That feel when you're taking a shit and your girl's ghost girlfriend comes in and puts her hands under your butthole so the poop falls into her hands and she smiles at you from down below. <laughs> a spooky dookie. We call that a spooky dookie. <laughs> spooky dookie. Whoa! Jesus, she spawns a lot in the kitchen. I guess it makes sense, you know, considering. Every day you make me hear things. Well, every day you guys make me read things, so I have to balance it out somehow. I think I read the most when I'm just reading my Twitch chat. Is that sad? I need to read more books. You guys definitely teach me a lot of vocabulary words. Like, for example... What, what's a shysty? What is that? Oh my god, get away from me! Like a baklava? Like a... It's like a dessert? Like a... Was it a Mediterranean style dessert? Very flaky? Yeah, she spawns so much, it's just like... Bro! I just want to play video games! God, girls are so annoying. That's a sister? That's a shish. A shish kebab. Oh, a shisey is a ski mask. I see. Baklava, balaklava. Those are two different things, I guess. Okay, we're at 61%. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Reading is fun. Learning is fun. I saw a post on I Am The Asshole that is apparently very divisive. And maybe after this game, I can read it to you guys because I don't know if I could summarize it properly enough. But basically, it involves, like, this guy had a birthday and his girlfriend made him a cake. Have you guys seen this one? It's like the new black and blue versus white and gold stripe dress debate on Twitter going on. People are, like, at each other's throats over it. You know that one? You saw it? I'm honestly kind of torn. Like, I can, I can see both sides of the argument in a way. Oh my god, she's in there. But this couple got into an argument over... Oh! Oh! Over a birthday cake. And then... The guy went on Reddit. <laughs> and, and asked them about it if he's the asshole in this situation. Imagine you get in an argument with your significant other and the first thing you do is go sit on your computer and type up like a fucking essay length reddit post about it Just to see like random strangers like what random strangers on reddit think about your situation Just to get their input on it Uh It was me and my wife's anniversary And I wanted to watch the football game, but she wanted to watch The, the Housewives of Beverly Hills Am I the asshole? My wife was giving birth to our firstborn, but... I really, really wanted to play Starfield. <gasps> Let's go! My charge is complete! And the first reply is like, you're not the asshole. She's being a total fucking bitch and a cunt. The charge is done. What's he gonna tell her? She looks so agitated. <sighs> I love how she's not like trying to be scary. Oh no. No! Well, listen, we can talk this out! Maybe she wanted to chop up some vegetables. And. Make curry. Oh, What's the matter? 
Here, you can stab me, it's okay. At least if Reddit's users have a better opinion than Korra. The knife symbolizes pegging, I am sure. <laughs> oh yeah, Korra. <laughs> that site is so sus. This room will be the mouse tomorrow? Oh no. She's not gonna take it well. I probably won't see you again. Why can't she just come in, come with and haunt him uh, wherever else he lives? So now I have something very important to tell you. Wait, what? What is it? You're Madoka Sawaise, right? Wait, is this the M. Night Shyamalan twist? He knows her. You work for the same company as I do and stayed here at the company housing as well? So that's why she's haunting this place and died in this room five years ago! He killed her. And this is my prediction. Wait, what? You died a virgin. The reason you haven't gone to heaven is not because shacking up with good looking men. It's because you have some other regret, some unresolved issue in your life? What's her unresolved issue? She's probably got a lot of them, let's be real. Do you recognize it? <laughs> it's just a picture of that pig with shit on its balls. <laughs> the cat! Oh, that's why she likes the cat statue! Wait! Her name is Nina. Oh, that's from the text messenger! I got her from Mr. Yokoyama Yokoyama five years ago. A kitty. She wants a cat? You are oh, you are Nina's original owner. Is the cat still alive? Bro, go get her the cat now! After you passed away, Nina had nowhere else to go and was taken in by Mr. Yokoyama. But he couldn't take care of her for long. His daughter was found to be allergic to cats! <gasps> no! Where is it? Then I would join the company at the right time. I was given the opportunity. Wait, does he? That's... That's him! That's his... Because I had already taken care of several cats in my family's temple. Oh, he's taking care of it for her. disease that affects a lot of older cats. At least she lived a nice, long life. She passed away peacefully in her sleep, surrounded by other cats. This game's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Fuck this fucking game. I hate this stupid fucking ghost game. This stupid ass fucking Japanese shit. No offense. She had a sweet tooth just like you. She often nibbled on the Japanese sweets I left in the living room. What the fuck? Bro, if the cat died, that means there's a ghost. Nina was mourned with great care at my parents' house. You can stab me to feel better if you want. Bro, I came to get scared. I came to get my gut scared out, but what I left with was feels. Was that the end? Please tell me that wasn't the end. Please tell me there's like a post credit scene where like everything is- No! Please tell me there's a hidden ending. Yeah, let's go to load game. <gasps> Day eight! Afternoon, let's fucking go! I thought this game was gonna be scary. I didn't think it was gonna rip my heart out of my chest and shit on it and eat it and puke it out and shit on it. 
and sit on it. Staff from the property management office and a junk dealer came and disposed of all the household goods. Ooh, a junk dealer. I don't have a problem going home now, but I kind of helped them finish off. The golf goddamn was not expecting such a roller coaster from this game. Bro, I didn't think it'd have like an actual story. She hasn't been seen since last night. The golf. Thank you, Garnth. Well, time to go. Oh, the cat statue. Hmm? Bro, take her with you. She's gonna be so lonely. Did it finally? Do you think she's in heaven with the cat now? Check out from the room. Yeah, maybe she's in the suitcase. <laughs> he just opens it up and she's just in there like... Find house key. Bro, this is giving me feels. This reminds me of when I moved out of my apartment last year. It's so surreal when you move out of a place and it's like all emptied out. You just stand in there girl, and like. Ghost so no head. <laughs> Ghost blowjob! <laughs> no, this is a sweet story, bro. Oh, is that my phone? Why is it on the floor in there? so weird just like standing in your, your empty apartment and just remembering like man like everything that happened in there over all the years that you've lived there and then finally closing the door and knowing that once you close the door it's the last time you're never going back in there again it's pretty bittersweet for me i was like it was a little bit bitter but mostly sweet because i knew like god damn i was so happy to get out of there was this the boat train ticket? I got the boat train ticket. Why was it on the toilet? This guy is really bad at organizing his shit. I got my small phone. Now I just need the house key. Thank god I can actually see. I feel like Will Smith standing in the middle of the empty waiting room. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's the same kind of feeling as like when you're when it's the last day of school and you finally get out of your last class and you're just walking around the hallway is just knowing this is the last time. You empty out your locker and it's so weird and surreal seeing it empty like that. Maybe the house key is on one of these shelves. No? No? Maybe it's in here. This has sucked more than anything that has sucked before. Um, here. See you still in the bathroom? Oh, you mean the thing that was on the wall? Wait, it's in here! Why does he... <laughs> what the fuck? Did this guy go into like a fugue state and just place all this shit? Why, why was he taking a bath with the house key? Time to check out. Okay. Shit, man. It's a pretty nice apartment, though, even though it's just a unity thing. There's a message on the paper. You seem to have misunderstood something. I'll tell you what. It's true that Nina has been on my mind for a long, long time, but I stayed in this room because I really wanted to live together with a good looking guy. <laughs> When you showed up as the last resident in this room, I was disappointed from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> After all, my dream didn't come true until the very end. Well, these seven days were not so bad in their own way. As for Nina, I want to thank you again. Thank you for taking care of her to the end instead of me. 
which is very sad and I thought she would never miss anyone but me but in the pictures Nina seemed to be enjoying her new environment bro she got cat cocked that's probably why she was crying she saw like all those pictures of her, of her cat it's like the fucking like Logan Paul Jade Dillion or whatever situation it's all those pictures of her cat just like enjoying the company of another owner that shit hurts I was a little surprised that she could get along with other cats. I guess you must have been very comfortable in your home, you stupid bitch. I was a little jealous, but I was relieved that Nina seemed happy. Thank you for making Nina happy. Oh. Oh. It's time for me to leave this room. I let my wild side out there. It's been a while since I've had my favorite sweets. Aww. So donuts are her favorite? I got to see Nina in the picture again, and on top of that, I was able to enjoy my life with you. Even if it was only for a little while. There's no reason for me to stay here any longer. Thank you for your seven-day business trip. Thank you for everything. Take care of yourself. Aww. Yeah, she got a little quirky at night. I want to see her one more time. Bro, her, her last wish wasn't fulfilled. Does this mean she can't ascend to paradise? Oh, she's here! Your admiration for good-looking men is amazing. <laughs> Bro, she looks so fucking goofy. I think there are more important factors to consider when choosing a man than his face. Okay, bro. For example, the ability to stay clam <laughs> even when there's a ghost. Bro. Let's go, Ghost Wrist to Infinity. When she saw you, she got turned on. Chat, we are getting the gussy tonight, boys. Bro, she looks so down bad right now. You see her blushing? Oh my god, are they touching hands? No way did this guy fall for a ghost. Aww. She is gone. Wait, she's still there. those little piggies. Oh. Makes you wonder what the bad ends were actually if that was her wild side flush. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are there other endings? I know, is she saying goodbye? She's gonna go hit up another apartment, try to find a better looking guy. Wait. Bro, you're coming on a little too strong. She's gonna be like, Oh shit, I think I I, I'm, I have to ascend out of the mortal plane. Oh shit, you're breaking up. Uh, bye. I want you to have this. What is it? What is a ghost number like? Would it be just like a Ouija board? To summon them? Oh. Wait a minute. It's the tail hair I got from the- Oh! oh. I, I think that's just a weird translation. I want you to have it. it that's not- Bro! Have you ever had a pet and then just like... When they pass on... You just like take like a little cut of their hair. I've done that with one of my cats before. Before she got cremated. I think she'd want that. Oh. Oh, she misses her cat so much. Craving for donuts. 
Yeah, maybe he's pregnant with her now and she's gonna be reincarnated as his baby. Unity Blender. Oh my god, was that the end? Wait, so... Do you guys think she's like... Staying with him? Do you think she's gonna follow him around? Or do you think she passed on to heaven? Yeah, the game wasn't very scary. It was a little scary at the beginning, but it was honestly just kind of sweet. The puzzles were a little strange, but... The story made up for it. Let's go, it boys. Not only did we get ghost head, but body as well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Jesus. Wait. I'm the ghost! Wait, is this... We is did, this heaven? Boys. We got to hold hands and the ghost came inside us, Chad. <gasps> bro, 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 it's her cat! The cat went to heaven, too. It's like a heaven apartment. And this is what girl heaven looks like. There's a kitchen and everything. Bro, I'm gonna throw up. Do you think boy heaven is a football field? Because this was made with Blender, you think we can find some other interesting animations made with this ghost No! Babe? Atrocities. This is pure. This is pure and good. <laughs> he gave her his pussy hair. Do you think she's happy now? <gasps> it's all dogs go to heaven. Not sure about cats. Immersion broken. Also, be be. No. Lilies. Shut the fuck up. For free. <laughs> if cats go to hell. I'm fine with that. I'm going there too. She ascended, bro. He's happy now. We did it. Mission accomplished. Oh my god. Wait, bro. So, are there other endings? Or is that... Is that it? Is there like a bad end? Yeah, that's all she wrote. Fuck. I'll say I was not expecting this game to be that moving. When I saw this game on my Steam recommended page, I was like, oh my god, this looks so fucking goofy. This will be a silly little stream Never game. Thought I'd say this, but that I think it'd be sweet. Be you feel me? You smell me? <laughs> you fucking smell me? See how that goes? Painted her toenails? God damn. There's a second ending. Oh, yeah, what happens if you remove those signs on the walls? Yeah, those ghost seals. There's a secret ending if you remove all the seals. Wait, is it on YouTube? Seven Nights Ghost Ending. All endings? Good and secret endings? Oh my god. Wait. 
What are the seals for? Do they like keep her confined to that place? Okay, hold on. I found... Let me close the game real quick. Because of the static noise. I don't know why, for like whatever reason in the menu, there's just like loud static. I think it's a weird glitch. The seal keep the gussie in check? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! Okay, here it is. Actually, this would never happen. Obviously, the girl ghost was interested from the get-go because of the protagonist's strong beat of vibes. Oh, and yeah. He was so weak letting her keep him up like that all night. Anyhow, time to make sure my wife isn't wet. But I wish I had the ghost to see. <laughs> time to make sure my wife is dry as a desert. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so thank you. Okay, I think this is a secret ending. I'm not sure. So this is what happens if you remove the seals? Well fuck, I'm on a, the bullet train. Wait, so is this the best ending then? No, not. Do not steal. She is coming with him! Oh, What, can the ghost cat come too? Oh shit, she cleaned up. <gasps> she has a donut too! I want donuts so bad now. Wait, is she feeding him it? They're sharing. She learned how to share. That's character development. Uh, uh, uh. Nuh uh. He won. The cat's there. Bro, this is actually sick, because even if he dies, he'll be a ghost too, and then they can just be together forever and ever, ever. Aww, That's so cute! Aww. I wanna- I wanna die and eat donuts! Yeah, are they on the train to heaven? Sheesh, if you don't get that donut out of my face, I'm gonna KCCKC KCCKC What? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Is this another ending? Oh, this is the ending that I got. The one where she's in heaven. Ah. Yeah, so this first one is if you fuck with the seals, I guess. Man, this is a Local cool Japanese game. man arrested for life insurance fraud. <laughs> Bro, I'm I was not expecting like an actual sweet story out of that at all. That completely came out of the left field. I'm not even in like a scary mood anymore. Oh yeah, bro. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find that r slash relationship post about the cake or uh. Reddit, am I the asshole cake story? I wonder if I could find it. It's like a vanilla cake story. Okay, I found it! I found it! <laughs> yeah, time to get a nice little palate cleanser. Like the, the ginger, the pickled ginger after a nice piece of sushi. By reading some Reddit. Yeah, let me make sure there's no weird recent subreddits showing, because apparently that's a thing if you're uh, if you've ever been on Reddit. But what is this subreddit? The fuck? Okay, 
nothing weird to selling, I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Am I the asshole for being honest with my girlfriend when she asked the question about the birthday cake she made me? Also, why is Reddit like dark green? Is Reddit usually this ugly? Bald and bankrupt, you mean tech tone? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bald and bankrupt is even worse if you believe that. Okay. I, 34, okay, this guy is 34 years old, keep that in mind. Had a birthday just yesterday and my girlfriend, 36, offered to bake me a cake. I told her that I would prefer a chocolate cake, devil's food, to be precise, with chocolate icing and nothing fancy. She is usually a great baker and I guess she thought that wasn't sophisticated enough or something. She baked me a chocolate cake with vanilla icing between the two layers of cake, then surrounding in chocolate frosting. The cake was fine, but I was disappointed because it was not what I wanted. She must have noticed and asked me if I was disappointed, so I was honest with her. Yes, I was disappointed. It wasn't the cake that I asked for. I said, if I wanted vanilla in a cake, I would have asked for vanilla in the cake. I didn't make a scene, I didn't pout, I, didn't, I even ate half a slice, the chocolate part. She got upset with me and said, but I've made vanilla cake before and you liked it. I pointed out that I don't mind vanilla icing, but it's not what I wanted for my birthday. Notice the special asterisks. Her feelings were hurt and she even pulled a I'm not going to make you any cake next year. Which I replied with I will order my own and get my money back if they don't do it like I want it. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Apparently, that was the last straw. She asked me to leave, later texted me that I embarrassed her in front of her kids. And now she won't reply to my messages. I think birthdays are important things. I feel like I was honest with her when she asked me. I didn't want to lie about it. My friend told me I should have been grateful that she made me a cake at all. Especially one I've eaten and liked in the past. Excuse me. Maybe I overreacted a bit, though I don't feel like I did and hope to get a second opinion. Am I the asshole here? So what do you guys think? My personal opinion, I could maybe, until the part where he said, until the part where he said this, I could maybe kind of see his side of it. I could kind of see, hard, like, but I was disappointed because it was not what I wanted. She must <laughs> yeah, have fucking Shapiro me voice. I was disappointed. So I was honest with her. Yes, I was disappointed. <laughs> it wasn't the cake I asked for, I said. If I wanted vanilla in a cake, I would have asked for vanilla in the cake. But vanilla. I would have asked for van- <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Reddit gets even better when you read it in like a uh, Ben Shapiro voice. But yeah, I... I could kind of like see a smidgen of his side of it until he was like... Until he started talking like that. Like, I will order my own and get my money back if they don't do it like I want it. And I asked... I asked for chocolate. I didn't want vanilla on my birthday cake. Birthdays are special to me. This guy is 34 years old. 34?! That sounds like the most self-important nonsense I've heard in like three days. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> We're about to reset the timer even more the more I talked on the stream. Yeah, he sounds like a fucking kid. Like, he's throwing a fucking tantrum over it. And acting like it's his mom. Bro, she made a nice cake for your birthday. My opinion, shut the fuck up and eat the cake. You could have gotten a mouthful of <laughs> bah. I asked for chocolate! 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 Instead. Chocolate! Bro, who cares if you asked for like, Oh, but I want chocolate. I didn't want a little bit of vanilla. I can see maybe being like, when you get your cake, like maybe inside your head being like, Oh, I kind of wanted just chocolate. I don't know why they put vanilla in it, but I guess this is fine. 
just maybe being a little disappointed inside of your head but like telling them and being like yeah well next year i'm just gonna order my own cake and if they don't do it exactly how i want it like how you failed to do i'll just get my money back this guy is like fucking patrick bateman she did ask that is like at first that's how i can see like a little bit of his side like maybe he feels a little like oh man she didn't really listen to me maybe she doesn't really care what i actually want but bro it's a fucking birthday cake that someone made from scratch for you i like chocolate cake she just doesn't get me she doesn't know what my favorite chocolate cake style is Bro, maybe you just have shit taste and she was trying to make like a better cake for you that would be even more delicious. I don't know. I think he's, he's fucking overreacting. It's honestly... Like, all this over a birthday cake, bro? He has no side at all. It was a two-layer chocolate cake with a layer of vanilla between them. You eat the vanilla and you shut up? Yeah, bro! He got pretty much what he wanted. She just added a little extra something something to it because like she's a baker and maybe she thought, oh, maybe he'd like it even more if I put a little vanilla in it. You know? Yeah, it's like, it's just ungrateful. Especially at 34 years old. If this person was like a teenager, I, cannot, I would understand, but holy fuck. And then the first thing you do is go on Reddit to probably get validation for how he acted. After looking at the comments, I've apologized to my girlfriend for being the PARTIAL ASSHOLE! But also asked her for an apology as well? She hasn't replied yet, but I assume I'll hear from her today. She's probably just thinking about how she can best apologize to me. Oh yeah, bro, I'm sure. Bro just turned 34 and this is how he acted. How was he on his fourth birthday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next update is gonna be him saying he's single. <laughs> Holy fuck. Also crazy take here, but you can communicate the disappointment like, you know, better than that. Yeah! Tone and words go a long way. Yeah, bro. Like, he could still be honest about what he wanted in the cake without being an asshole about it, I think. But even then, it's like, bro, it's a tiny, like, line of vanilla in between, like, mostly chocolate. And it's not like he's allergic to vanilla. It's not like he hates vanilla or he doesn't... He likes vanilla. So, like, if you put... If she put a little bit of vanilla in there to add a little extra pizzazz, who, who fucking cares? Honestly, for me, I wouldn't even be disappointed. I, even if I was disappointed, I wouldn't even bring it up. Bro, but it's his birthday, though. <laughs> Bro, she may as well have just taken a big fucking shit on a plate and given it to him. And that was the story from his perspective. You know he had bias, so it was probably even worse. Yeah, imagine how it actually played out. He should have beaten his wimpy pressure ass. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to see like a wrestling match between this girl, this guy and his girlfriend. <laughs> like a, a pay per view TV match. <laughs> Mid turd segment covered in vanilla. <laughs> You're the asshole. Not necessarily for saying the cake wasn't what you wanted. Although I would have kept my mouth shut. But for the way you spoke to her. So incredibly rude and disres disrespectful. Yeah, bro! If I want a vanilla on a cake, I would ask for vanilla on a cake. And I'll order my own and get my money back if they don't do it like I want it. Yeah, man, if this if he's this fucking... If he's like this at 34, what was he like when he was younger? Yeah, she made she made him a chocolate cake like he wanted. All she added was like a tiny bit of a little... A little special touch. Probably killed a man? He honestly sounds like a psychopath. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to find this guy. I'm going to find this guy. In Minecraft. I'm gonna burn down all his crops. 
I got two moms. <laughs> I bet his mom spoiled him to the death. Oh God, he's probably one of those he like redacted old. redacted the ending part where he went. Wait, so Ugh. no hit, but it's my birthday. My mommy would have made my cake exactly how I wanted it. My mommy loves me more than you. Ugh, some fucking chills. What is with like certain parents like they raise their God kids damn, like the they're raising a significant a other and it's but so if creepy. This is the competition meets back on the menu, boy. I'd cry if someone made me a homemade birthday cake. Yeah, bro, imagine if someone made you a fucking birthday cake from scratch. Dude. Uh, who cares? Bro, I don't like coconut. I fucking hate coconut. But if someone made me like a coconut birthday cake from scratch, I wouldn't say shit. I'd eat that entire thing up while sobbing. That would be so nice. Yeah, when someone makes like food for you from scratch, that's like the best feeling ever. It tastes so good. Oh, having stuff cooked for you. Oh my god, it's the best feeling in the world. Someone could cook up like roadkill for me and I'd just like get on my hands and knees and sob and say I'm not worthy. Yeah, it's made with love. It's like, what's the whole point of the, it's the thought that counts. It's like if someone made like a picture for you and it was just like a fucking stick figure drawing but you know that they sat down and they took the time to like think of you and make something for you it's just sweet having stuff made for you in general is just the nicest thing in the world i didn't ask for love i asked for vanilla <laughs> here's your cake for your birthday i put a little love into it but i asked for chocolate well, the Baldwin Bankrupt subreddit is for the YouTuber Baldwin Bankrupt. He's like a travel guy and he's very strange. And he disappeared for like a few months and I got like freaked out. I was like, man, did he just fucking like get COVID and die or something? Because at the end of his last video, he was in Mongolia and he got like a lung infection and had to go home. And I was like, oh my God, did this guy just fucking pass away? So I was like looking all over the subreddit like, uh, guys, is he alive? <laughs> I wanted to watch more Mongolia adventures, damn it. <laughs> okay. I guess the general consensus is he is the asshole. Am I the asshole for cutting Fun my fact, sister out of my life because she got with my your ex? Your 34th birthday has to be extra special and exactly how you wanted it. Look up chocolate birthday rule 34 for more information. Oh, fuck. You think that's like a real law? That this guy is like... Abiding to it? Wait, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted my cake to be gluten free. Am I the asshole for getting upset with my wife's birthday plans? Wait. Hold on. Oh god, this is juicy. I 40 years old male and my wife 38f we're talking about her 40th birthday coming up in a little over a year she is a stay is that stay-at-home mom of two kids and takes care of a hobby farm we share with her parents we have horses and the horses are mostly for her i don't do much with the horses other than help maintain the fields there's a need for some backstory do you think he hates the horses and wants to kill them do you think he resents her for having the horses there's a lot to glean from that sentence like the horses are mostly for her. You can feel the resentment behind that sentence. In the past, she has always expressed interest in going somewhere warm since her birthday is in the middle of winter. We've gone to some southern states and the Caribbean for her birthday without the kids. I was thinking maybe we go somewhere warm and nice for her 40th, a place like Belize. I brought this up during a meal and she immediately replied back with, I already had a plan in mind and shows me a picture of a horseback ride through Yellowstone, Montana region. My immediate response was, do I need to learn how to ride? And she replied with something to the effect of, it's $5,000, it's really expensive, I was just going to go myself. My wife insists this is not what she said, but in any text we have, I don't see her rephrasing the statement. This immediately turned me off. Wait, what? My first thought was she didn't want me involved and it didn't seem fair to me. It didn't seem fair to me as I'm the primary provider. And I took on a stressful job so we could live comfortably. It also really bothered me because I 
All I got for my 40th was a Blackstone griddle? Wait, so she wants him to pay $5,000 so she can go horseback riding by herself? What? <laughs> that's... That's really weird. What? <laughs> Why does she just want to go horseback riding by herself? Like, couldn't she could just pay for it herself if she wants to do that? It's just weird to have someone like pay that pay for that for you if it's like five thousand fucking dollars. If it was like in the hundreds, it'd be like whatever. But that's weird. I was trying to do something for the both of us, and the dramatic difference in cost of what she wanted versus what I got made me feel like I have no worth to her. I expressed this to her and she changed it and said it doesn't have to be for my birthday. It's just my girlfriends have all been doing what they want for their 40th and I've always wanted to do this horseback ride. I think this is like a weird horse lady. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of suspicious that she wants to do it alone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I bet all your girlfriends are doing what they want for their 40th. Mighty asshole. Telling my wife it was unfair to me and saying that it made me feel like I'm not worth anything to her? Just her and the horse for her 40th birthday, huh? And he does help take care of her horses and maintain the fields. Bro, he hates horses. He probably has dreams about like murdering them. And just like <laughs> leaving the horse head in her bed so she wakes up to it. Putting them in a meat grinder and turning them into glue. <laughs> Bro, this is... This is just fucking weird. What, what would you do if you're like, I don't know, wife or whatever, husband was like, Okay, for my birthday, I want you to pay for a $5,000 horseback riding vacation, but just for me, you, you have to stay home. That would be so fucking weird. <laughs> My first question would, would be like, why do you want to be alone with a horse, bro? <laughs> why why can't I come? <laughs> why do I have to fucking pay for it if I'm not coming? <laughs> and bro, she, she has horses. They fucking have horses. She can just go horseback riding at home. I would just say we have horseback riding at home, bro. Bro, going on like a nice... Warm island vacation or whatever would be so cool. Why is going horseback riding so expensive? Yeah, bro, why is it $5,000? Going on a horseback ride through Yellowstone in Montana? It doesn't seem like it's that far away from where they live. Like, they obviously live in the US. Horseback riding. She's lying or it's a scam? It's... it's so suspicious! What does it all mean? Am I the asshole for wanting to go to my sister's wedding? Oh my god, I'm going down the fucking reddit rabbit hole. Am I the asshole for giving my cousin strong painkiller? Did they have to get their fucking stomach pumped? My sister was uninvited from a trip with a group of my friends. Oh god. No, I'm not turning into a redditor. No, 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 no. I just... Okay, listen. I have a guilty pleasure of wanting to read juicy drama. From a safe distance. And a lot of my favorite reality TV shows are on hiatus right now. I'm still waiting for a new Love is Blind season. And a new season of that shitty... What's it called? Selling on Sunset or something? It's on Netflix. It's about these, like, realtor ladies who are always fighting with each other. Just getting into the most petty fucking squabbles over the most meaningless bullshit. I love it. I consume it. It consumes me. Shit, I guess let's play another fucking scary game. I- I didn't get my scare fix! Wait, hold on. I turned on my light too light. Too light to leave. Shit, I can't talk today. I can't fucking talk. I know like every time I get self-conscious about that, it's like people probably can't tell that I can't fucking talk.
talk properly today and I sound like I'm stroking out. But it just feels like everyone's everyone's hanging on my every word. Okay, what was this called? Dream Core. Okay, this next game is called Dream Core. I think this just dropped pretty recently too, back in uh, the last week of August. And it's like a freaky liminal space game. Made in Unreal Engine. Looks very interesting. Let's put it up on the screen, shall we? Let's take a little dip. Also, this is a demo, so... It might have more content later. What's happening to my fucking monitor? Oh no. Bro. I think this is one of those games that boots up in full screen and fucks up my, uh... What's it called? My aspect ratio. I have to fix it real quick. It is another very, uh, interestingly programmed game. Very rustic. Okay, settings. I like the music so far. Very simple WASD movement. I like it. Uh, how is this for the audio? This game looks really interesting. Uh, I really like the whole liminal space spooky creepypasta stuff. It always kind of tickles my scary bone, so to speak. <laughs> it's kind of like the back rooms game, but it has more variety in the, the locations that you traverse. You will see in a second. Okay, save. Display mode. I want windowed full screen, please. Thank you. I feel like. Is this an unpopular opinion, but I feel like games should all start up in windowed full screen mode. There's just no excuse. And they should start up with the volume at 50 instead of 100. Save. Back to main menu. Okay, new game. Shall we? Dream pools. Oh fuck, this looks cool. Do not underestimate any detail. Patience and observation are key. Ah. Ah. It's starting to sound like the vanilla cake guy? Mm. Well, it's my birthday and I want I want my game to be special. Dream pools. So I don't know much about this game. I've just seen a tiny bit of footage of it. It just seems like you wander around in these like creepy places. Wait, this the sensitivity on my mouse is a little too crazy. Save. Okay, that's better. Oh fuck. I like the like the lens warping effect. The like the VHS filter, it's pretty cool. Wait! He has dust on his eyes too. Look. Yeah, the fisheye lens. Can I go in here? Wow, you can even hear like the wind rushing past your ears when you're running. Oh god. Wait, what's in the pool? This is actually kind of sick. This is just like... I guess it's called dream core for a reason. <laughs> this, is a, this is just like a dream that I would have. Oh, Jesus. Uh, everything is cool with the fish islands. Especially fucking uh, skate footy. Bro, imagine skating and grinding that rail right there. Holy fuck. They should make this for VR? Oh my god, that would be so good. This actually looks so real. What is that? A, a boombox? Is this that one pool? No, this is different. Remember last time you tried back rooms VR? I do! I'm still traumatized by that. That actually scared me so bad. You know, 
I have to take edibles whenever I do VR. I used to take motion sickness medicine, uh, like Dramamine. But Dramamine turns me into a fucking zombie. I hate it. It also gunks my throat up. Because it like congeals your saliva for whatever reason. Wait, does that mean there's danger this way? So I took an edible as I usually do before getting into VR that day. I may have taken a little too much. And that made the back rooms feel even more real. That's where they keep the scary triangles. That way. Oh my god. noise bro i actually got so scared that i cried and i i felt doubly bad because like i was with mouse right and she got so fucking scared and at the same time the game glitched and we got separated so i just i felt so fucking guilty so i think it was my idea to go into the the back rooms world Yeah, she was zooted too. We were both zooted as fuck. <laughs> Wait, have I been here? What the fuck is that? A grave? Died 4th of January. Aged 47 years. Last time I had an edible, I was going for like 20 hours. Going where? Yeah, this is kind of like a dream that I would have. Oh fuck. Wait, where is this? This is like a dead end? It's like dark. That's so creepy. Do you, chat, do you think that goes anywhere? I'm getting that thing, that like fucking pareidolia thing, where you look into like a, a dark place and it looks like there's a face there. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck? You wanna go into the void? Okay, I'm just pressing forward. I think we're still going somewhere. Bro, it's just static. Oh my god, bro, it's dark everywhere. We're oh Dude, I think this is just a wall. <laughs> I was just walking into a wall. Uh-oh. I hit the wall. I'm sorry. Okay, we gotta go back this way, I guess. Fuck. This game is really cool so far. I love the design of the rooms. Oh, Jesus. It is very surreal and dreamlike. Is this an exit? Wait, is this where- I think this is where I came from to get in here. Yeah, 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 cuz- yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no? Oh, no. I don't know! Wait, why am I running? Why are you running? Why do you suddenly go so fast in here? And it goes boop. 37? What does that mean? It sounds like the checkout, like the self checkout at Target. Boop. Wait, where am I? Chat! Where am I? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Guess we gotta go this way. What's up there? Thirty-seven. What does sound like tainted love? Do do do. Water slides. Oh, yay! I hope we can go down them. I do go down. Cool. Oh, 
Okay. I like what this place has to offer. Sometimes when I'm trying to fall asleep, I like to craft little mind palaces for myself, and one of them is like a Greek bathhouse. It looks kind of like this. Pretend that I'm washing away all my worries in the water. Wait, don't go down. Do go down! Imagine all those Greek guys. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to have nightmares. Whoa, wait a minute. Now where the heck is this? Whoa! This wall is fucked up. <laughs> Natasha Kotova. Is that your pig? Good, I was afraid you were a huge fat guy with nice voice. If I was a huge fat guy with this voice, I think that'd be sick. I would just be Andy Melanakis. It'd be cool. Caution stairway use handrails. Oh god, I don't want to go down there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck. Chat, should we go up or down? I like that Nana's voice. No, you don't, bro. You're doing great at avoiding all the monsters so far. Keep it up. Avoiding all the monsters? What do you mean? There's no fucking monsters. This is just like a walking simulator. At least that's what I saw on the Steam page. It just said, like, walking simulator. It's just like, uh, you walk through these creepy places and explore. Yeah, the FOV is so realistic. Feels like I'm actually there. I wonder if it does have a VR mode. That would be pretty cool. Oh my god. It's you guys! Yay! Oh my god, this looks like a fucking hotel that I went to when I was in fifth grade. Jiminy Christmas! I don't know where to go. Yeah, it's like oddly nostalgic, but so creepy at the same time. I wonder what the like psychology behind the whole limini, liminal space, limini, limini, limini. Like, why do we find them so unnerving? Is it like some form of like uncanny valley? Like a, a place that looks oddly familiar to you. To the point where you start getting like a sense of deja vu, but something seems like not right. A lemony space. Mmm, nice and zesty. I think I went around in a circle. Did I? Oh no. Bro. I warned you about stairs, bro. I told you, dog. It keeps happening. Wait, what's this over here? Bro, I'm just looking buzzing for fluorescent light noise. I hate that. Does it make anyone else's head, like the top of your head, feel hot? Just hearing the buzzing fluorescent light sounds? What the fuck is this? Look like a bunch of limp dicks. Limp biscuit. Uh... Bro, why does it make my head feel hot? It's a pretty nice wallpaper, yeah. I wonder if you could lick it and it'll taste like a, a snozzberry. I think I never heard light sounds. 
Well, maybe it's like just one of those things where it's at a frequency that only some people can hear. If you're special. If you're the chosen one. Can you guys hear that mosquito alarm? Wait. Did I go around in a circle? Not anymore. Wait, are you too old to hear it now? I think last time I checked, I could still hear it. This makes me want a water park stream where you and April go down a bunch of water slides. Yeah, we could go to a water park that looks just like this. It would be really cool. Yay! Did you see that shit? See what? What the fuck was that? Well, what do you mean? Are you being are you being funny right now? Or are you being serious? Are you go are you going funny mode? She didn't see it. Oh. Oh. Didn't see what. Okay, I think that's where I came from, right? Wait, I can't tell, bro. I swear to God, As someone that has I'm not that bad at directions, tools, right? This place is giving me a headache. I can already hear my boss saying we are going to work all weekend just to finish the deadline in oh, a month. Oh, fuck. That sounds awful. But at least you get to be around the, the good chlorine smell. I don't remember these windows being here. She didn't hear it either. Hear what? Smells like grandma's house in here. What the fuck? I swear to God. It keeps like... <coughs> it keeps changing. Like... <laughs> They're not coming, they're not coming. That was just a car, it was just a car. There's no car monster. Unless it's a t -t 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 truck. Then it might be a m m m monster truck. Whoa! When I was little, my mom got a plant called a dragon plant. Like I read the label that said dragon plant and I got like legitimately scared that it was gonna turn into a dragon and eat me. This is new. Yeah, bro, I just keep imagining people like skating around here. Whoa, it's a fairy fountain from Legend of Zelda! Dragon plant, more like dragon ba 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 ba. Your joke made me so mad that I legitimately held my breath on purpose just to make my heart rate go down to make it look like I was actually dying. <laughs> Wait, can you get banned on Twitch for holding your breath on purpose? <laughs> holding your balls! Wait, this room is different. Should I go down this, this right here? I feel like this map is so huge. Every time I go down a different corridor and like loop back around, it feels like the map just completely changes. <gasps> it's the bidet! The symbol! The fountain! What if that ghost girl's in this game? 
he didn't see the eye, what are you talking about? What are you actually talking about? I'm getting freaked out. Stop. Ooh. And that's a donut. Wait, I can't jump in there. Oh my god. I hate when you're like... When there's like a dark corridor. This actually reminds me... My mom was like the aquatics instructor at my middle school. And some days I'd have to stay late after school for like a sports practice or something and then I'd come meet up with her because she'd still be at work and she'd have to like shut off all the lights and stuff and sometimes she'd make me help her like clean out stuff out of the bathroom and like check stuff while all the fucking lights are out in Your the chats, pool ghost girl. it was so scary <laughs> wait what does that mean? I'm gonna make a mess of all your pots and pans. I think if I died and I became a ghost, I would just stream on Twitch as a ghost. I'm gonna be the first ghost streamer. Oh, I hate ceilings that look like this. Do you know what I mean? It Fuck means ceilings stop like this. All my goddamn donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a little hungry. My tummy did a bit of a little bit of a, a wumbly tumbly. Wait, wait, wait. Pink cat, stop. Don't throw Master Chief action figure across the room. No! <laughs> Say goodbye to Master Chef. He's gonna get a halo because he's gonna be dead. Oh god, fuck this! I hate this. I hate fucking dark stairwells with like the dim light at the top. Goodbye, Mr. Sheaf. <laughs> what the fuck? My grilled cheese is cold. This is just a back rooms level, isn't it? I think, yeah, technically. I'm... Oh, fuck. How did both of you do the Metal Gear Solid alert? Like, back to back. Is it just me? Oh my god. Is it just me or is it getting more distorted like the further we go in? Or am I tripping? Are they coordinating? Bro, it looks like Grace! Bro, I think they're all in like a Discord call. Like in like a fucking board meeting room. With like 10 monitors just sending TTS messages and coordinating them. Testing 123, testing 123, no. No. <laughs> that looks kind of beautiful. Yeah, it does seem more pixelated and grainy. Let's go. Wait, did we? Fuck that. Nope. I I think we came from one of these like long dark passageways, right? Uh I hate I hate dark stairwells so much. No, 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 don't don't no duck no duck time. No ducking. POV, your dad tells you to get something from the basement so he can work on the car. Oh god. <laughs> My mom loves your content? She should. Thank you. Oh fuck, my fucking train clock scared me! What is this room? And of course. <laughs> choo choo! Chugga chugga choo 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 come train choo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the gosh should be a singer. He sounds beautiful, honestly. He has a golden voice. What the fuck? Are these like windows to nowhere? 
Bro, how big is this map even? Have we... Wait, is this the room that had the, the limp penises in it? Remember, I, like, I, I came in a room like this and I was like, Oh, this is the, uh, the limp penises. <gasps> yeah, we're back at the... Wait, it looks different though. Doesn't it? Yeah, then I said Limp Biscuit. Shit. So where should we go? How is your night going, Nyanners? <laughs> I think it's going pretty good. I'm feeling a little scatterbrained. My apologies. But it, it's it's fun. It's fun playing video games and hanging out. Thank you. Yeah, these walls are so familiar. I'm just like... Ugh. Wait, I gotta get to this ladder over here. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Is that a door? I don't remember this door being here. <gasps> oh yeah, this is the, the other staircase we wanted to go down. What is this room now? What's all this then? Okay... What's... Over... Here... In the darkness... What's over here in the dark? Wait, there's another door! There's no fucking way that was actually there. That just appeared there! What the fuck? What in the fuck? <gasps> Wait! This is good, right? Like, this is an exit? Wait. Huh? What the... F what the fuck? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! 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 Did you see that? Bro, 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 bro! You, I'm not, bro. I'm not fucking seeing things. Did you see that? What the fuck was that? Did you see that? What the fuck was that? Oh my god! A door? Oh. I actually got fucking goosebumps. I'm back here! Maybe... I gotta go here? Wait, I went here though. What is... Danger triangle? Snakes are kind of like danger noodles. <laughs> yeah, this place is like some kind of fucking maze. Wait, I wonder what's down here. Hmm, I wonder. I think you're right. I feel like it's getting more distorted. Yeah, it looks like it. You can kind of see it, like, tearing a little bit. Would you swim here? Yeah, I think it'd be pretty nice. I like swimming. Wait, there's an arrow. What the fuck? Wait, so should I just follow the arrows or... I don't think I've been here before. Oh shit. Nintendo 64! Oh my god! Nintendo 64! God just what he wanted for Christmas. I'm so happy for him. Wait, what the oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Jump no balls? I can't. It won't let me. 
No climbing, really? Okay. What's this? What is this? Fucking communism? Oh god. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep going opposite of the arrows. <gasps> Wait, let me try up here first. Whoa. It must be crazy to be actually like inside that thing. <laughs> me when I <laughs> me when I look up look at a picture of uh, a uterus <laughs> me when I look at my mom that's kind of fucked up though bro your mom carried you inside of her stomach for a long time you were once a part of your mom, physically. Look up. This looks like a big old snake. It's a slithery little snake. It's up to smell good. Oh god. Please no, I'm walking so slow because of the water and I feel like something is right behind me. What do you mean by that? What are you actually talking about? Mm. That's a penis. Oh god! The fucking wind noises keep getting me! Okay, uh... Ooh. It's you guys! It was a kidney stone that came out. Oh my god, did look at that thing. I lost no... Oh my cobos! <laughs> oh! Yeah, you guys are kidney stones. It's time. The little kidney stones to close their eyes and say night night. Where is this gonna take me? I hate walking in the fucking water because of how slow it is. You can see it in the reflections. See what? Wait! That's that slippery old snake. Wait a minute. Isn't it? It is! Wait, so did I just go around in a circle? Yeah, I, th I think I got turned around. Yeah, I backtracked accidentally. Fuck. Here, I'll go back. Has the eye popped up again or not? You're making shit up. The eye? Where in the, the god dang hell did you see an eye? Dick oath I hate when I got to shoot out a kidney stone. Oh no, here I go again at balls. <laughs> I love when the TTS messes, messes up so it sounds like they're just talking to the god. The god, help me. Here, I'll read it in the Degoth voice for you. I hate when I got to shoot out a kidney stone. Oh no, here I go again. Ah, balls. What is that? Why was it like glinting in the light? What is that? What is that? Don't you fuck lie to me. My mama told me I came from the stork. Don't talk about this. I didn't come out of her belly, you sick fuck. Yeah, yeah, you came from a, a little bird. Your mother... did not pass you out of her birth canal. 
while grunting and groaning in anguish over several hours. On a serious note for once, I'm so audio did you excited for yours and Ethel's music drops coming up. Oh no, just thinking about it, Mac. Oh God, come. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. I'm excited about it too. Yeah, let's let's talk more about that and uh I'm not gonna go down that dark passageway with the weird droning music. Yeah, I'm very excited about me and Abel's new song. Oh god. Go in there, it sounds cool. Yeah, like, what's, what's the worst that could happen? Wait, I... Oh, this is bad. Why is it getting darker even though there's light in here? Guys, is this game gonna fuck me up? I guess we gotta just loop around, right? Wait, it's getting quieter, I think. In the corner? Did you see it? See what? This is a tree. The eye? What? What are you talking about? What eye? Eye? Don't forget to bind your run key. Wait, isn't it just shift? What do you mean? Why would I have to run? Why did the music stop? Should I have followed the music? Don't look behind you! <laughs> no, 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 bro, 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 not these fucking dark stairs, no. Bro, I'm actually like... My fucking palms are getting sweaty playing this. I think this is the scariest game yet. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't like it. Oh, what the fuck is that? I mean, this looks nice and peaceful. It's just a bunch of... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a uh, cute little, uh, little sculptures just looking at me. And it looks like the eyes follow me. That's cool. Ah, you fucker! <laughs> Fuck, you're so evil, man. You guys are like fucking evil underlings. You guys are dark-sided. I need an exorcism in my chat. Oh, no. Bro, I have a bad feeling about this really dark corridor where I have to walk through water and I can't run. Here, I gotta turn up the volume a little bit. Why did it get so dark? Bro, could I actually get a heart attack from being too scared? Why is it getting dark and darker? Are you ready? Uh... This is genuinely terrifying. I don't even know why. 
Please shower. Here's a here's a message to my chat. Screenshot this so you don't forget. Here is your daily dig of meditation. Please take a moment to meditate. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. I don't like how long this hallway looks. Oh, cool. I, I think I remember this place. No climbing over railing? Of course. Yeah, I, I don't want to cause any trouble. I thought the gunshot was you slamming your desk. How strong do you think I am? <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck is that? Should I go in here? Oh, fuck no. Is it the pee pee poo poo man? Wait, this place doesn't look too bad. Oh, uh, man, there's so many different passageways. Where do I go? Where should I go? Oh, fuck. This is actually just a fucking labyrinth. Does it matter? I don't know. Though, there is this place. Should I go down here or in the pool room? Wait, I'll just- I'll just check it out! Just to see what's going on in here. Maybe there's something cool down here. Wait, this looks familiar. It is familiar. It is very familiar. Okay, I guess I'll just go back up to that pool room then. Why does it look so real? Because it is. This is actually found footage that you can control on your computer. I think it's just like a weird like exploration game. Watching now? Wh what is? Cut it out! You guys are giving me the heebie jeebies. This increases the chance it will appear in old rooms? What do you mean, bro? I feel like you guys are just gaslighting me into thinking that something's gonna happen when it's not. Oh boy, I can't wait to traverse all this really slow water. And this wide open, empty, dark. Stay out of the water? What do you mean? Is it in the water? I still haven't seen the. The eyeball that you guys are talking about. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I can smell the chlorine, too. That's the only thing that's keeping me going. Just sniffing on that shit. I did not piss in the pool. 
Do you guys pee in pools? Be honest. I personally do not. I feel like it's kind of gross to do. Peeing in the shower is whatever, because it's just you in there and it goes down the drain. It's honestly like no big deal. But peeing in a public pool, bro, someone's gonna just like swim right through your little... your piss mist. Wait, you know, you've played this game? Sense IV says, shit as well. Have you ever done the prank where you put a Tootsie Roll on the bottom of a pool to make people think that someone shitted in there? Public pools are like 75% piss. Yeah, I've heard that if you can smell the chlorine, it actually means that it's having like a chemical reaction with all the piss in there. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Here's the... That little slithery snake. Just one of them though. Was there any way out of here? The scariest part of these fucking liminal space things is just the feeling that you're never going to escape. You're just like... Permanently wandering. This endless maze... Of rooms that all look like kinda the same. This feels like being in a fucking Skyrim dungeon. Wait, I remember the staircase! But I think it's facing a different way. Yeah, it's like playing Starfield. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, have we been here? I kind of remember those arches. But I kind of don't at the same time. Doesn't ha pee have pneumonia in it? Maybe if you're sick. Wait. I kind of want to go... I want to go back through here. Into this darkness. I want to go into the darkness. <laughs> yes, it does. Also, urea. Urea what? sound reminds me of having swimmer's ear. Oh my god, that's the worst. Have you ever gotten swimmer's itch before? Oh wait, this is a new room! I think? Yeah, there's you guys in the corner. Oh, you're just chilling. Chat's fun day at the water park. There are three ways to escape. Wait, really? Oh my god, that is scary. <sighs> oh cool, a triangle door. <sighs> Do you guys hear that? It sounds like distant running water or like... People talking. Do you hear it? Did you hear it? Oh my god, she has absolutely no idea. You guys are just messing with me. You always do this shit. Bro, I bro, I looked at the Steam page for this game. It's literally just a fucking, like, psychological walking simulator thing. You're doing- okay, everyone's doing like, oh, she doesn't know, she doesn't know. Yeah, okay, what don't I know? Tell me something I don't know. Did you see the white orb? <laughs> the ghost orb. What is psychological walking? Uh, taking an edible and walking around in downtown LA and pretending that you're in an RPG town and that everyone around you is an NPC, like a shopkeeper. 
and approaching them and talking to them like they're gonna give you a quest. I hear something. Wait, it sounds like fancy old people music. Should we go? Should we go towards the music? Wait, it got kind of faint. Oh no, I'm in the water. Guys? You're just messing with me, right? I swear to god, I downloaded this game, I looked at like, the summary of it, and it was just like... Oh, it's just the first person, person walking simulator where you explore like a labyrinth. What did you see? Eyes forward, don't look behind. What do you mean? What do you actually mean? Oh, I have to pee so bad. Oh my god. Please, please, please have mercy on me. Wait, what is that? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Please tell me that's a fucking potted plant. I just got chills down my entire legs. I'm paralyzed. Wait, I think it's just another doorway. Okay. I got chills, bro. I hear the music again. Why does this look like... Like catacombs? No. No. I hear- Should I go up the dark stairs? I hate the dark stairs! I hate them! What was that reflection on the water? It was probably just like, uh, light. Oh fuck. I could not play this in VR. No fucking way. I would have to be- Squirted out by an amber lamps. Wait. Is this <laughs> Damn I missed. Let me try again. <laughs> you are such a bitch! You are such a filthy, nasty bitch ass whore! I see you. you are a motherfucker. You are a it motherfucker. In the water. Oh my god. Uh, fuck your mother. Fuck your mother. I I'm shitting your mother. Fuck you, thank you. That was, that was good. I think that, that got me the most out of anything. I hear the music getting louder. I'm shitting. I'm shitting on your mother. I make big shitting on your mother. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Uh, guys, how about, why don't we play, why don't we boot up Legend of Zelda? You know what? Uh, I actually gotta go. I actually gotta go. I, my microphone just broke. Oh, sh shit. Oh, guys, what? What's happening to my microphone? Oh, I think my microphone is like, us, it's like stacky. What the fuck? Oh my god. Bro, do you hear that? This is Oh man. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to pick up a new microphone at uh, Walmart or something. I'm gonna have to get uh, the Razer Siren. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties, guys. Sorry about it. Yeah, my mic is fucked. I don't know what happened. I think I got so scared that when I screamed, the scream blew out the microphone. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, role play won't save you this time. Yeah, that's what the police said last night. 
I don't want to go. Ain't no one buying that shit go in the room. Okay. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe it's just a, just a little music box. You can't die from being scared too bad, can you? Yeah. I see you. Oh my slash, god. Forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, Oh no. What did I just do? Why do I have a flashlight now? So we can explore better? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are honestly... Really good! I like them. It's very, uh... Robust. Very robust sound design. Wonderfully made game. It's just a game, by the way. This is just a game that somebody set their computer and made. <laughs> All this is made in Unity or uh, Unreal Engine. Yeah, it's not real. It's not real. It's just a video game. Somebody- Oh, fuck. Somebody spent a lot of time working on this. It was a labor of love. And they had to... Did you just hear footsteps? I just... I swear to fucking god I heard footsteps that were not my footsteps. Can I go in? I can't. I can crouch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The developers worked really hard on this. They opened up a little program on their computer and they set up everything up really nice and adjusted all the lighting and stuff and put a fancy little filter over it. And they didn't program any monsters or anything into it because that would be too much. Too much work. And they put it in there. <laughs> oh god. Should I go down here? Or up the stairs? Wait. Make sure you grab the batteries? Wait, why? and thinking that it's some kind of like dark figure that's gonna here? It looks like there's a passage down that way. Uh, it can when there's someone hiding in it? Now that would just be silly. Someone in a fucking, like, what are those called? G g ghillie suit? Ghillie suit? 
pretending to be a goddamn tree? Oh no. I can't tell if I've been here yet or not. Oh no. It's over? What do you mean? Wait, this is the the m m m morgue. Unless this is a different catacombs catacombs. Holy fuck! <laughs> You're doing good, honey. <laughs> You, Iron Mouse is my Ushi. <laughs> Wait, I have been here. Yeah, I've been here. I've been here. Okay, I'll go back. Yeah, because I remember I got really scared at this doorway because I thought there was someone standing there, but there wasn't. Because there's no one in here. It's completely empty. It's just a cool little map you can explore with really cool effects. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went up those stairs. So wait, should I go back up the stairs and then... Wait, what's in here? Should I come out of here? Eh. This is new. I think. Who's that walking <laughs> in the pool I just cleaned? <laughs> oh no, the janitor's gonna be upset with me. This is new. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, cool. More stairs. Just just how I like it. You know, this kind of seems like a metaphor for modern day living. So much around you, yet all alone. Oh my god, Sonia. That was actually surprisingly profound. Actually a metaphor for balls. Yeah, this room is very perturbing. Kind of like a, a mall. Oh, that is freaky. That is very spooky and freaky and creepy. Wait, this is new, right? Or is it? I think I've been here. Wait, have we? I can't tell at this point. Is it the exit? Wait, are we gonna make it out? I think it's nil. Okay, okay, I'll keep going. Aww. These channel point awards are expensive as fuck. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon or something. I'm looking at all the people who visit my park and they're like, I don't want to go on Mickey's Dick Smasher 5000. It's too expensive for me. Not good enough value. And then I pick you up with the little in-game plier things like I'm God and then I drop you into a lake and watch you drown. That's just what I would do in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh! Cool! There's little, uh, arrows to show you where you need to go. So should we go in triangle door on the left? Or triangle door on the right? I want to get off Nyaner's stream. You want to go right? Both ways? Go in both? Yeah, it's just the same room, isn't it? Okay, I went in both. Does that do anything? Hello, is <laughs> anyone here? Is anyone here? Here, hello. Anyone? Here? Itchy. Yeah. Oh, God. 
god, why is the bro the gunshot sound effect is so loud? Is this new? We... I guess it is a gunshot after all. Sasuga gunshot. Yeah, they should add a button that you can press like in heavy rain where you're like Josh David Just saying a bunch of random names. Kelly Michael Brandon It's gotta be at least one of you guys' names, right? Cynthia What? The fuck is that? Did Banksy do this? Amy! Trevor! Davis! Tabitha! What is that? What does that mean? What do the symbols mean? What does that mean, chat? Those letters go to nowhere. <laughs> That's cool. Interesting design choice. Should I follow this arrow? Time is running out? What do you mean? <gasps> Wait! This is back at the beginning, isn't it? That's the, the music box. Wait, so... Oh, fuck. Wait, so now where do I go? That just goes back to the beginning. Follow the music and never go down dark doors? What does this thing mean? It looks like a top-down view of like a room. Back to the draw- the room with the drawing and the dude black door, baby, mommy ma. There's? Okay. Is it back this way? <laughs> no! Fuck! Bro, what the fuck? You guys are- you guys are so fucked in the head. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? Where is it? 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 Where is, it? Is, it? is it still following me? following me, isn't it? Wait, I, I think it... Wait, so... Up the stick... <gasps> Does that say... Boo-woo? What... Is this? Can I... Touch it? <gasps> oh my god! You... <laughs> You guys weren't actually fucking with me. There's actually a fucking monster. What do you do? Yeah, it looks like the Tasmanian devil or something. Gaturo from Argentina? <laughs> ah, ah, you fucker, you fucker, you fucker, you fucker, you fucker, you fucker. You missed! You missed! Maybe it's a friendly guy? You think so? Wait, wasn't he in here? Am I going the right way? Fuck, my brain is scrambled! Oh boy, here we go, more ghost kumi time, let's go! Oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I went the right way. I 
couldn't get a good look at it. I saw it and immediately just like looked away. I could not, couldn't face it. Wait, ooh. Wait. Hold on, let me shoot that strange statue. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> you got it. It's not in here. No bat. He was in the other room. Wait, this room? Was it this one? No. Downstairs? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I keep seeing that fucking Argentinian statue thing and it's freaking me out. God, what the fuck is that? Wait, what happens if you go towards it? See him? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's fu- Motherfucker was like, oh, <laughs> come. <laughs> Wait, can I encounter him again? Wait, maybe he's just shy. Maybe he's like the ghost girl. Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Like him. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Jesus Christ, he shitted. Yeah. Wait, am I tripping or is this different now? Wait, so can the monster. Wait, be honest with me. Can the monster get, like, get me? I agree, nothing scarier than a white woman jump scare. <laughs> you guys are so cruel. Wait, so... The game says I should avoid the, the like dark corridors, right? So I'm gonna go down them. Is that the, the true ending? What's up here? There is no ending. Does it just keep going forever? Wait, can... Can the monster, like, actually, like, get you and kill you? I think this is back where I came from. There's a few endings. Oh, okay. Follow the signs. Oh. Oh, not bad fan tiles. Ah. Uh. Wait, this looks new. Or maybe it's not, and I'm just. Completely fucking brain broken. You have to trigger that first meeting before you can beat the game? So I, I triggered it then, right? Wait, I had the right way with the radio, but I lost it. Oh, fuck! Are we backtracking? 
Yeah, it must be so humid in here. All this pool water. Bro. Go back to the white tiled room with the water. <laughs> Wait, I think this is new. It looks different. I don't remember there being... This. Wait, is that where I came out of? I think so, yeah. Go back into the room with all the white walls. With the dark corridor. Would you rather be trapped in a place like this or just the back rooms? I feel like this would be more entertaining, right? Because then you can just splash around in the pool. There's plants. Bruh. There's bruh. And tiling and tile repair. Tile repair as an amateur for a while. And that one hallway would not be fun. Oh god, that would suck. I think this is a new realm. This room looks different. You'd rather be dead? Well, don't say that. Oh god. My stomach is like bubbling. I got bubble guts. Yeah, there's slides and stuff. Oh god, we're back here. There's slides and stuff too. Wait, chat, 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 chat. Which way did I go from here when I came back here like 10 minutes ago to get to the monster place? Do you remember? You followed the sign? Okay. Over there! You went down the long side with water on the left? This way? Wait, no, this arrow was pointing that way. Oh, fuck. All the signs to find the monster and the flashlight. Yeah, okay. Okay. No, 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 in the long water? You went in the water on the left last time. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have a flashlight now, so I can see in the darkness. Oh god, the flashlight is almost out of charge. Don't say that. There's there's no batteries to pick up or anything. Oh wait. Did I go... Down here? I don't know if I could trust you guys anymore. Wait, no, the arrow is pointing out! Ow! Oh! I just pulled my ass muscle. I was sitting. Oh god, I was sitting in the stupidest possible way. I was sitting like fucking L from Death Note, and I tried to readjust and just fucking lost it all. Yeah, I farted too hard. Wait, is this way right? I feel like it's not. So, this way that I'm going right now is correct. <coughs> correct? The arrow is over a door, normally it goes through the door and then in the direction of the arrow. Uh... Hmm. 
You know the other way? Wait, wh which way is the other way? Like, right here? A tunnel on the side and take a left? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I'm not good with directions in the best of times, and this is like... The scariest game for me. Everything looks the same. Okay, now I just hang a uh, left here? Yeah! Why does every horror game protagonist walk like they're holding in diarrhea? Because they don't want to alert whatever monster is following them. I straight up shit him. Oh. I'm gonna go down here now. I wonder what's down here. Wait, how? How long are these stairs? Good thing I have this flashlight. So we can see the bottom. Bro, am I going up the stairs or down the stairs right now? <gasps> See what? What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? I did a fucking Looney Tune scream, fucking goofy ass, goofy movie fucking scream. What's the bad ending? Then what's the good ending? Oh shit! I want to see the good ending. Dream. Can you actually like get out? Flashlight and end hunting. Whoa! Alpha beta gamer has the secrets and endings. Okay, ending one. I think that was the ending we got. Ending three. Wait, where's ending two? Wait, there's a slide glitch ending? Bro, this looks cool. Holy shit. Wait, hold on. I'll put it on the screen. Look. This game is cool as fuck. Oh, hell yeah. What is this room? So you can go down the slide? Oh, you can kind of nudge into it. I would have never figured that out. Oh my god. Now he's in Mario Land. Wait, that's the good ending? <laughs> Wait, I went down here. Ending three? Oh. Yeah, this is just a demo, so it's still... It's still unfinished. I think they're gonna add more and more stuff to it. Honestly, a really cool concept. It was pretty spooky. Probably one of the scarier games I've played recently. Like, I actually got pretty spooked. I had like an overwhelming sense of dread. It was very good. I felt alive. I liked it. Mm. Yeah, it's always nice when horror games kind of let you fill in the blanks. Mentally, because that's always the scariest. Just like kind of 
subtly playing tricks on your mind. That's always the best. That's the scariest kind of shit. Ah! <laughs> you guys are so cruel. I'm gonna wake up screaming tonight. Curse you, Twitch chat! Thank you for the bits, though. Yeah, this is a video of all the endings. Wait, it's the beeping door. I've never played the Stanley Parable games, no. I've always wanted to, though. Are they scary? I thought they were just like puzzle games, kind of like Portal. Wait, is he getting out through the elevator? Oh, they're funny? It's comedic? They're satirical, very tongue-in-cheek? Very silly, very goofy? Very quick. He got out! This is just like Willy Wonka Factory. He's gonna float up in the sky. Man, that game is cool as fuck. Both the scary games, even though the first one wasn't very scary, Oh, those indie games are really nice. I like discovering little hidden gems like that. Oh, well, I gotta go. Because it is pretty late. And I think I scared myself silly. Because my tummy is feeling very rumbly. Oh, that was very good. Very good day of gaming, though. Very spooky, very scary. Indeed. Indubitably. I think next stream... Next stream, I might play more Legend of Zelda on Thursday? Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah, Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, we finished two games. We watched the new Luxury, Life of Luxury video with the scary demon pregnant lady. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up screaming tonight. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so cool. Those games were cool as fuck, though. The first one was honestly, like, so sweet. Like, surprisingly so sweet, and the second one was really, really well made. I love the, the style of it. And how immersive it is. I, I honestly got really freaked out and sweaty. Okay. Okay. Let's find someone to raid. I'll send you guys off to greener pastures. Maybe a stream that isn't so spooky, huh? Will you guys have nightmares tonight? Are you sure you want to exit game? Uh... Oh god, what is this? Is this a fucking mini game to exit game? Uh, yes! Can you imagine if it made like the fucking monster pop up? Like right as you hit yes, it just goes like... Like right in your fucking face? God, that would be so evil. If I was a game developer, I'd do something like that. But I might accidentally kill people doing that. It'd be worth it though. It'd be funny. But yeah, um... Read Joe Biden. <laughs> okay. Wait, is he on Twitch? I thought he'd be like a kick streamer. He seems like he's got like a wild hair about him. Or maybe his son would be a kick streamer. Big Gamba. Gamba guy. Biden, thank you for the stream. Thank you so much, Sherlock. Also, thank you so much to everyone for all the bits. Even though it scared the bejesus out of me. I do appreciate all the support. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. Albert Koki? Maybe we can raid Tab. Cause I I saw her in here earlier. Being being goofy. <laughs> Thank you for all the sound bits, chat. Oh yeah, you're the sound bit archiver person. You have, just have like a entire library full of sound bits of random streamers. What do you do with it? Baby B. Baby B. Yes. Nighty night, pink cat and chat. Thank you very much, Selmia. The goth. The goth balls. <laughs> Thanks, Nanos. Thank you, Zato Kani. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I had lots of fun getting very scared. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> it got so hot in my room. I don't know if it's because it like actually got hot in here because I was just like hyperventilating from how freaked out I was playing that fucking game. But yeah, very good game. Very, very fun uh, ghost adventure for the Seven Nights Ghost game. Very sweet. Liked it. I cried. I laughed. 
I did not expect it to be as good as it was. And yeah, overall, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Let's go over to Tob's place. Go over to Tob's place. I remember Tob stopped by. Looking for her stink sack. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Got to go to my first thank anime so convention much. this year. Wait, really? Got to proudly wear one of your shirts to the event. Oh, thank you, that's our fault. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I hope you have a lot of fun at anime convention. Bro, hit up the artist alley. That's always the coolest shit. Just seeing all the cool stuff that people make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be back on Thursday, I'm pretty sure. Probably with more Legend of Zelda. We gotta get back on the grind. We gotta get back on that temple run. Gotta beat the water temple. I'm definitely not stalling on it or anything. Yeah, see you guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy Tom's stream. Don't get too scared tonight. Leave all the lights on in your house or it will come. He is watching. You're gonna go to sleep tonight and faintly hear that, that old timey sounding music coming from like a dark corner of your room. That means he's there. He's gonna turn into a, a little bug and crawl up your wall and twerk a little bit. Okay, goodbye everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye.